congratulations on getting first today. Hi, Satora. Oh no. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Skill issue. Tisk tisk. Uh, happy Monday, friends. Get good. Oh my gosh. That's mean, Elon. Sitara tried their best. And that's all we can ask of everyone involved. Uh, okay, I'm all set up. I wanted to make sure I was set up. Okay, I'm set up. It wasn't good enough. No. <laughs> oh gosh. Hydro! 32 months, let's go. Hydro, how are you? Welcome to stream. Thank you for the 32 months. Thank you. Hi, Bowen. Happy Monday. Add points. Uh. Hydro. Oh, no. That's Bowen. I read Hydro's name. Bowen. Jasper. Hi, Aether. How are you? Welcome to stream. Good gamble. Good gamble. Enjoy. Oh my god. What did I do wrong this time? I swear. Is there an extra space in there? Did I? There we go. Okay. Why did it not work the first time? Hi, Sarah. How are you? Welcome to stream. Happy Monday, friends. Happy Monday. How are y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you all here. Uh, yeah, happy Monday. Oh gosh, I'm doing all right. Nice to hear, Sarah. Thank you, Bowen. All right, now I can spare a single month. Thank you for your prime, Bowen. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, I need to like plan a day when, when Bowen and I can meet up. That's been on my to-do list for a minute. Uh, let me... Uh, let me... Let me get all settled in here. I hope this is all right. I, I, um, updated OBS before stream, and I thought it was gonna be done before I started stream, but... It wasn't, and now, like, I'm, I'm wondering... I didn't get a chance to, like, check if everything was okay before stream, and so now I'm, like, a little paranoid of, like... Is everything set up? As I, I know, I was about to say, I was going to see if like you were available last weekend, but then I was like, oh, never mind. It's actually ass outside, and I don't feel like leaving the house. It's supposed to be warmer this weekend, but this weekend's Easter, and I have family things on Easter. So, unfortunately, I cannot. I cannot. I'm hoping to, like, maybe leave the house that isn't family stuff. Oh my god, I hate... Can I turn this off? How do I... Hold on. This bothers me. Widget data. No, this is not it. Uh... Filter. I don't want to see... No, follows are fine. I don't want to see sponsorships. Turn this off. Save. Okay. Perfect. Oh my god. Freaking... Um... Uh, on my activity feed, I have to turn off that I don't want to see, like, sponsorship opportunities through stream elements. Because the stream elements... Sponsorships suck. So I don't want to see them. Yes, mid-April it is. <laughs> uh... Oh, you did, Aether? Oh, I might have missed it. I might have missed it. Hold on. Where would it be? Oh, here I see it in the art category. I wa- I will- I will listen to this after stream. I'll listen to it after stream. I definitely missed that. That was my bad. I apologize, Aether. That was my bad. I'm gonna- let me click on it so I actually have the tab open. Oh. And then that way I can listen to it after. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be warmer this weekend, because I'm kind of sick and tired of all this snow. The snow is, like, messing me up. Hydra, you've been following me for four years? Holy shit. <laughs> da 
That's a long ass time to be following someone. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Oh, Claire! Oh my gosh, Claire, hi! Thank you for the sub. Yeah, the snow does suck. I freaking hate it. I can't sh scan this shit. I'm so annoying. Thank you for the hype train, friends. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Hydra, four years. Insane. Crazy. How are you, Claire? I hope you're having a good Monday. Hopefully this Monday is treating you better than it is treating me. Aether, thank you for the biddy. For five bitterinos. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, Aether. Yeah, I gotta... I'll watch... I'll listen to your... I'm, I'm always so curious of people's, like... Um, like, when they make art. I like listening to... To it. I consider music art. No one's susceptible in winter. It's not... Exactly! Exactly! We're in March. It's basically April. Why is there still snow on the ground? Why did it snow, like, a million inches? And it's basically almost gone-ish. The roads are still shitty, but... My god. Hi, Car! How are you? Oh, you came back from a week off? How was your week off? Ooh. Wait, d d does that mean that you came back to work with, like, a shit ton to do? <laughs> See, a week off is nice, but it's always, like, the night before that's always, like, oh, you, like, you have to think about all the work that you're gonna come back to, like, the next day. Ugh. What is snow? Oh, Hydro, I wish. I freaking wish. I don't have that kind of freaking outlook in life. I have snow every damn day of my life. So annoying. So sad. Yeah, that's true. There was a really big thing of snow a couple years ago. Oh gosh, Alcade! Hi, Alcade. Thank you for the raid. How are you? Meowdy, Alcade. I would like some snow. Otter, you can take all of it. You can take all of the snow. I don't even care if it, if people like the snow in my city. They, you can have all of it, Otter. Groundhog's a liar. <gasps> you live in the desert? Oh, Hydra. I don't know if I would prefer the desert over, like, a place that snows, though. Because hmm. the desert, like, you get a bunch of, like, buggies. I'm feeling sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Alcade. Is it just like a, like a, <clears throat> like a coffee cough? Or is it more like a... I'm gonna throw up, kind of deal. Actually, took the wrong week off because I got it. Oh no! Oops, Claire. Wait, are you able to? Are you able to get it right? Oh shit! That's like a big oopsie. Oh no! Oh shit, Claire! Oh, how do you fix that? How do you fix that mistake? Oh my god! Oh no! Uh, Ohio's gonna be overrun with tourism because of the eclipse. They're telling us to buy groceries in advance. It's all COVID all over again. Oh, no, Satara. Yeah, the eclipse is, like, happening... I don't know when. Like, Thursday or something? Imagine going to Ohio. Like, as... I like Ohio, but, like, there's nothing in Ohio. So the, the uh, population of Ohio is gonna, like, double overnight. And then... And then it's gonna be gone, like, the next day. <laughs> is Ohio built for that? After moving to a desert, can't confirm it's way better than snow. Is it really, Car? Interesting. What about the bugs, though? My main concern is the bugs in the desert. And that kind of shit. Uh, but everyone is made of Ohio. My lead's super nice and let me come in Monday so I can take Thursday off. Oh, good. Oh, the Stardew concert. Oh, is it this Thursday? Oh, shit. I see. Hi, GZ. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, GZ. Did you just wake up? We're not. Please go away. Ohio, Ohio. <laughs> I get that, Aether. I got that joke. I'm learning Japanese. I'm learning Japanese slowly. Ohio didn't exist. It's just like Stampede Season True. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Claire, that you, the, at least your lead is nice and let you take the day off Thursday. Cause like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to recover from that, you know? Like, how do you recover from an oopsie like that? I would just like, die. I'm glad to hear that you haven't seen too many bugs, Car. Cause like, yeah, bugs is like my big, like bugs, scorpions, snakes, like all those hot weather things. Not a big fan. Feels like I'm morning, probably go to bed early tonight. I'm feeling super tired. Honestly, GZ, you should do that. If you feel that you should go to bed early, 
do it. I probably, I will probably also go to bed early. Um, I try to, I try, I try to hit stream for like two and a half to three hours, though I might end it a bit earlier today, because um, I have to like leave for, um, I have some out of city training I must do, and so I have to like leave for work a bit earlier. Oh, good. That's good. He had a good staycation. You know what? A staycation's good because you can get stuff done, you know? Clean is a big one. Like, clean and, like, taxes. I did my taxes this weekend. That's what I did this weekend, chat. And it was not fun. Not fun. I just realized that I've been not on camera. Hello. Oh, I went, I'm, on my, I'm on my 3D model today. Because I don't feel like turning on my camera. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mom. How are you? Welcome to stream, Mom. Happy Monday. Duolingo, baby warn you get the widget owl, get creepy on you. Oh my gosh, Aether! Okay, Aether, I actually do have Duolingo. I do have Duolingo. And I always do my Duolingo at night before bed. And so I always, 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 I get the owl that's like angry. Like he's like red. And, like, so mad. <laughs> but did Claire get anything done during her staycation, though? I definitely feel like probably she did. Did taxes too? Fat return coming? Oh, I'm glad to hear that you got return. Oh, good. I'm glad you got cleaning done. Me and Aaron, fat tax returns. True. I think I'll probably owe taxes this year. Well, I... Okay, ever since I started, like, taking Twitch seriously, I've owed taxes every year. When I wasn't doing Twitch super seriously, and I wasn't getting any like any money from it, I always got a return. But ever since I started taking Twitch seriously, I always, always owe money. Erin, go to bed at 8 p.m. That's my bedtime. There you go. Mom is telling you. My mom is telling you when to go to bed, Erin. <laughs> mom, I think you meant to tell that to... To GZ. GZ's feeling super tired. Get that too at night? Yeah, Aether is scary. The owl's like looking at you and shit. And you're like, oh shit, I gotta do the... I gotta do my Duolingo today. Bye, Mom. Have a good day. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Report Twitch last year for taxes really did take a lot of my turn. Yeah, it really does. Like, you don't think so because like... Even if it's like a couple thousand, like you don't think it's going to take a lot, but then it's like, boom, you owe half of what you made. I'm like, oh, great. I love that. So I, I literally spent three hours on Saturday going through my expenses and like trying to make sure that I, I got everything, that I got everything. So I think it'll be okay, hopefully. Why do I scare you, Alcade? Why do I scare you? Is it... Is it how I look? Is it... Is it... Is it... Is it just... How I look? <laughs> Hi, Frisk. How are you? How was your day? Welcome to stream. Happy Monday. I hope you well. What have you been up to? Uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, three hours, Claire. Li Claire, literally, I was like, I went through, I got my Twitch stuff, I got my Twitch income, and then I made some money off of Kofi last year, so I had to get all of that. And I made some money off of merch last year, so I had to get all of that. And then, um, I, I then I had to get, uh, like, all of my, I went through every single Amazon purchase to see if I could claim it. And then I went through all of my Minecraft purchases, like my server stuff, and then random commissions here and there. I had to look through my email and search for like Etsy and search for like uh, Kofi purchases and like, oh my God. And then, and then, oh my God, the thing that took the most time was my uh, Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. And so I was trying to I was trying to get all of the invoices for Adobe Creative Cloud and the website wouldn't load so I had to literally contact support and that took so long um and have them like download all my invoices and like get all that to oh my god yeah so that was a pain in the ass I finally got it done though so I'm happy about that Time to splurge with a big fat tax return you can you can buy food 
That's a good thing to spend tax return money on. When it says you can buy someone a coffee on Kofi, are they actually buying you coffee or no? No, Aether. So basically, um, Kofi is like a tipping service where you can tip the amount of what a coffee would be. So the idea is like, oh, you tip someone two dollars, and you know, you like the the two dollars is usually a cost of a coffee, though not as much anymore. I will say, coffee is a little bit more expensive than two dollars nowadays. So. That's kind of the idea behind it, but... Yeah. Aaron, buy me food. <laughs> Bought a new computer, so that's where my tax return is going. Ooh, very nice, Warlock. Very, very nice. Yes, you gotta try Tim Horton's coffee. Tim Horton's coffee is is decently okay. Um, I, it's grown on me, but um, Aether, fun fact, uh, the old McDon... Uh, so the... Uh, when Tim Hortons was bought by Burger King like a couple years ago, um, they broke all of the relationships with all the coffee providers, like the coffee bean providers. And McDonald's went in and bought those coffee bean, like bought the contracts of the coffee bean providers. And so if you want authentic old Tim Hortons coffee, McDonald's. There's a fun fact for you. So if you if you like the taste of if anyone likes the taste of old recipe Tim Hortons coffee, McDonald's may be your your go-to. Tim Hortons coffee, not to say that Tim Hortons coffee right now isn't great. It's okay. It's just a lot of people like the old formula and a lot of people like the old beans, and so that's why um, that's why McDonald's bought those coffee uh, contracts. So. Fun fact, there you go. Next time you're in Canada and you want to try old Tim Hortons coffee, go to McDonald's instead. Uh, I catch up. Timmy's is mid, but worth the price. That's true. Yeah, it's worth the price. Like when I showed Austin and Mac McDonald's, they were so shocked of how cheap it was. Like Austin was flabbergasted that he got like, I think he got like a wrap and a donut and a coffee for like $7 or something like that. And he was like, I can't believe this. Uh, yeah, not Booger King, exactly. Hi, Riz. How are you? Welcome to stream. Happy Monday. Playing the original Rogue, and it's actually shockingly fun for Assy MS DOS game. Is it really, Car? Is it really? Interesting. The original Rogue. The OG. Yeah, Burger King. The 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 parent company that owns Burger King uh, bought Tim Hortons a couple years ago. And a lot of, like, OG Tim Hortons lovers hated it, but whatever. I don't... I, I have no opinion on that. I mean, hi, hi. No worries, Riz. How are you? Happy Monday. Burger King made a big turnaround. They were on the verge of bankruptcy. I think they did a really good job with their marketing strategy. Because, like, cause, like, before Burger King, when you think of Burger King, you think of, like, nasty. <laughs> I mean, that was my opinion before of Burger King. But everyone, like, slowly... Things have, like, turned around where, like, they started, like, updating all of their stores. Um, because, like, whenever I walked into a Burger King, it was always, like, gross and grimy. And it reminded me of, like, an old restaurant, you know, kind of deal. Um, and then, uh, and then Burger King was like, okay, this is a bad look for us. Let's update all of our restaurants. And, like, they did that. They restored a bunch of locations. And now it's not thought of, like, as a yucky, grimy place, you know? KFC did that um, recently in the past couple years. Fun fact. Oh, I see, Car. You know what? That's you know what, Car. If you like roguelikes, you you. I feel like you wouldn't try a roguelike unless you try the true OG roguelike. You know, you can add that under your belt. I'm glad you're doing good, Riz. Really, Aaron? I think uh, I think it's worth going into at least one. I really like Burger King's chicken fries. Those are like my favorite things from Burger King. Oh, and I guess they have good desserts too. I like their their chocolate Hershey pie. I also miss rolling up the rim. How come roll up the rim is online? That's such bullshit. <laughs> I hate that. What, what bring back OG roll of the rim? It is disgusting. They also trim their menu too. Oh, they trim their menu too. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Burger King has an actual value menu too. Oh. Look at that, look at that. 
So their Whoppers don't have cheese. You have to pay to cheese to add it. Yep, in advertisements, they're show with cheese. Ooh, I feel like that's a... <laughs> that could be false advertising. Yeah, chicken fries are the OG. Those are so good. I love chicken fries from Burger... That's the only... If people go to Burger... Like, I don't... Burger King is definitely not on my first list of, like, fast food. But... If I were to, like, go to Burger King, like, my, the only thing I would ever order is the chicken fries. Exactly, Erwan, exactly. I miss OG roll up the rim. I remember that the uh, one location that was near my parents' house, like, the lady won a car. It was pretty cool. Yeah, roll up the uh, roll up the app sounds so bad, exactly. Like, roll up the rim is so much more catchier. That shit's OG. I'm playing Animal Crossing on my DS today. Ooh, which Animal Crossing, Riz? Wild World or New Leaf? I'm a big fan. I love I love Animal Crossing. Gotten your back, you're broken. Uh, your back bro have you gotten your back broken at a at a pra Wait, what is that, Frisk? I think you have a couple typos in there. What do you mean my back broken? Wendy's probably best value me. Just stay away from their poutine. Wendy's is okay. I can understand the prices of Wendy's, but Wendy's is like not it for me. I I'm, I just it, Wendy's feels too too like greasy. Wendy's is gonna be a no go when they introduce the surge pricing. Yeah, I if if Wendy's introduces surge pricing, I'm never stepping foot in a Wendy's. Uh, oh, thank you, Kev. Oh my gosh. Okay, Kev translated your sentence for me, Frisk. I could not read that. I've never gotten my back broken. Never got my back broken. Um, I went to a chiropractor once, and it was okay, but, um, yeah. I've, ooh, oh wait, uh, okay, I'll tell about that later. Okay, keep in mind chiropractor, okay? That, I, I have a story about that. Wild World. Oh, nice, Riz. Wild World is a big favorite of mine. It. I don't think I could play it today, but um, Wild World holds like a special place in my heart kind of feel because it was my first Animal Crossing game. Uh, the only thing Canada needs is Wawa. Oh my gosh. You know what? Can can Canada does have... Like, okay. Wawa, yes, I agree. Canada needs a Shake Shack. I'm not even kidding. I had Shake Shack like a million times when I was last in the US. It's so good. Shake Shack is insane. I love Shake Shack. Like, Shake Shack is crazy. I love it. Oh, so good. Oh my god. I had it so many times when I was in the I had I gained like 10 pounds from drinking at Shake Shack alone. You wanna please play again? Oh warlock. Can't have anything this world. I really hope Wendy's doesn't go through with that. You need physical therapy, and that's why I told Lando and he listened to me. If Lando listens to me, you should listen to me. I uh, you told Lando that I need physical therapy, Elkane? Wait, what? Hi, Pokemon Girl, how are you? Ooh, did you pick up dolphins, Pokemon Girl? When are you going to Nintendo Pup World? True, I should go to Nintendo Pup World. Not anytime soon. I know, Sitar, I love their milkshakes. Thought they were all Jersey lads just calling a water funny name. <laughs> what, Shake Shack? So Shake Shack is a burger place. They have like chicken stuff too, but it's mostly burgers and milkshakes. And their milkshakes are, like, top-tier, like, shit. Like, they, they put some crack cocaine in their milkshakes or something, because it's so good. Ooh, Culver's. I've had Culver's a couple times, but um, I'm not enough as Shake Shack. Like, I think I'll have to try Culver's again next time in the U.S. Shake Shack garlic parm fries. So, ooh, yes. You didn't learn till years later that Wall was a store. It's a gas station. It's kind of crazy that people say like, you know, when when people say like, oh, go to 7-Eleven in Japan, you kind of side eye them. But when you go, you understand. Wall was just like that. People go to say go to Wawa, and you're like, that's just a convenience store gas station. But then when you go, you understand kind of deal. Uh, Otter, my go-to is vanilla because I'm lame. Uh, I like the vanilla milkshakes at Shake Shack. Though I did try... What was the thing that they had recently? There was like a new thing that they had recently. I think it was like orange or something. No, I told Lando... Oh, he needed phys physical therapy. Oh, I see, Alcade. I see. 
And Lando listened to you. You know what, Yalcade? I should listen to you more. Frisk, thank you for redeeming drink water. And a dab. At people who come to Calgary, go to Peter's Drive-In for Milkshake. Oh, Peter's is so good. I love Peter's. I didn't take Mac and Austin to Peter's when they were here. I should have, though. That's like a Calgary cult classic. I'm not a big fan of their, like, food, except their french fries. But everything else on their menu is fine. Need some water after talking about all these unhealthy food. True, Frisk. Thank you. Mm. Whenever I drink water, my VTuber model freaks out. Wawa like a Publix? Isn't Publix like a Waffle House? No, Wawa is like a 7-Eleven in Japan type deal. Publix is nothing like a Waffle House. <laughs> Pokemon girl! Pokemon girl, how am I supposed to wear that? You can't even see me. I'm a VTuber model. Oh, I just realized my closed captions weren't on this entire time. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Copy. And paste. Okay, closed caption should be on now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> did y'all see the Duck Song 4 dropped yesterday? I did, Car. I did see that. It was okay. It was kind of... Not mid. It was a little bit better than mid. But, like, I don't know. It, it, I feel like the, the, the guy's riding on nostalgia too much, you know? The guy's riding on nostalgia. My cousin's disabled via arthritis, so he does physical therapy for you by time to time. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I need to do that. Actually, um, in October or September, I can't remember when it is, uh, I'll be flying somewhere and I'm going to like this spa. Um, I decided I'm going to, it's for work, um, that I'm going to, but I've decided that I'm going to extend my trip a little bit and go to this spa and it's $600 to go to this spa, but like, I feel like I need it. You get like a, like a massage. And you get to just hang out in the spa and go to the thermal room. It's, it's like a whole thing. It's a whole package. And I, I actually like haven't stopped thinking about it ever since I booked it. I legit have not stopped thinking about going. And that's all the way in October. I still have like, so many months to go. But yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm super excited. It's the first time that I'm going. So very excited. Are you not turning on your camera today? I'm not Pokemon Girl. I... Uh, look ugly today. <laughs> I look ugly today. So I, I'm turning on my VTuber model today. Yeah, 7-Eleven in Japan, Aether. So 7-Eleven in Japan is like apparently really good. Like they have hot food there. Um, you can get like, it's like a grocery store with like more stuff. It's like a lot nicer than in North America. Well, what added pizza? Ooh, pizza. Pizza at a gas station. That's interesting. I wonder where you would take, uh, where you would guys take someone on a first date. On a first date? I think you can't go wrong with dinner and a movie on a first date. Like, that's such a boring thing, but you can't go wrong with it. You know? And, like, if you end up liking the movie, then it's something to talk about. And if the person liked the movie, but you don't like the movie, and you start a fight because of it, then you know you're not compatible. You know? Kaobot, of course, Satara. Give me one second here. Kaobot. Jay, what have you... Yeah, you're never... You were never ugly. I feel ugly today, Frisk, but I appreciate the compliment. Add points. Uh, K... Uh, Sitara. Sitara. Snazzy Sitara. I just wrote up straight up Sitara. Forgot the snazzy part. 2,150. There we go. None of my friends have Wild World and I need someone to visit so I can get a final shop upgrade. I might just buy another Wild World card so I can get it. Oh, Riz, that's the worst part. That's the worst. What was your first date, Bowen? What made it so funny? Here, Pokemon girl. I'm looking. Did you post it in Pokemon? Ooh, Pokemon girl! You got you got Soul Silver. How much was it, Pokemon girl? Was that expensive? We were supposed to go to Zoo Lights, but we forgot and went to Timmy's. Got stuck in traffic for half an hour because the police were cleaning the road out. And then her her Jeep broke down. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible, Bowen. That's funny, though. That is quite funny. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. How did you forget to go to Zoo Lights? Did you just, like, lose track of time? Or did you just, like... You were like, oh yeah, we were supposed to do this. Well, let's just go to Timmy's. 
Was it more like that? You've had it since 2010, so no. Oh, I see, Pokemon Girl. Very nice. You know, that's worth a lot of money, Pokemon Girl. You should keep that. You keep that, Pokemon Girl. Uh, let me catch up on chat. I don't think I missed anything. Did I, if, if I missed anything, let me know. I don't think I did. There we go. Went to Timmy's every time she just picked me up, so it was a muscle memory. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, that's that's cute. I like that. I'm a big fan. Basically a CIB version. Oh, I see. I see, Pokemon Girl. Very, very nice. You should be proud of it. That's funny. I'm trying to think of, like, my first date. Like, oh god, when was my first date? Like, middle school? So uh, Does that even count? My first date was probably, oh, high school. High school, um, I think we went to the mall. I think that's all we did, was go to the mall. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, think. Should I, like, text him? I'm still close, I'm still, like, close friends with, like, the person that I, that I date, my first, my first boyfriend. We're still, we're still good friends. So I'm, like, tempted to, like, I was just talking to him, like, a couple days ago. I'm tempted to, like, do, what is, our, what was our first date? Do you remember? I think it was we went to the, we went to the mall. Uh. Only missing a few inserts. Oh, nice, Pokemon Girl. What did everyone first date experience? My first date experience was, uh, fun. I took a girl on a walk through a cherry blossom park. Ooh, that's cute. And cats running around. And cat headbutt me in the stomach. My date laughed at me, and then a minute later, a dog headbutted my date. Oh, that's funny. Aww. Empty since I finished Final Fantasy Rebirth, so I don't know what to do. Car! Car. How long ago did you finish that? Like, is it too soon type deal? Sometimes when you finish a game, you just gotta sit with it. That's how I feel about Breath of the Wild. But now I'm ready. I'm ready to jump back into a into a new long project starting next Monday. I'm ready. But, like, after I finished Breath of the Wild, I was like, oh, I can't, like, play another game for a while. Like, I had to, I had to kind of sit with the ending kind of deal. Uh, you were an intern for Nintendo. Yes, I was a I was a full time intern at Nintendo, uh, cause my uncle works there, um, and that's where me and my my first boyfriend met. Hi, Kevy, how are you? Welcome. Oh, five days ago. Oh, you need more time, Car. That's more, you need. That's still fresh. <laughs> that's basically you got stabbed yesterday. You need time. <laughs> need time to process it. Rebirth is the first one, right? Or is Rebirth the second one? Is this Wait, isn't there supposed to be three? I'm so confused about this Final Fantasy VII remake. There's supposed to be three, right? And like, the second one came out recently, and then the third one's coming out soon, right? Am I, am I getting this right, or am I wrong? Make a poll how long it would take Jay to beat Tears of the Kingdom. Ooh, that's a good one. Here, let's do a poll. Pull. How... How long will it take Jay to beat uh, Tears of the Kingdom? Here's one response. One year. Oh, I'm basing this off of um, uh, how long it took me to beat Breath of the Wild. Okay, one year. One and a half years. Two years. Uh, two and a half years. <laughs> or should I be specific? I don't think it'll take me two years. Okay, wait, 2.6 years. 2.6. I feel like we should do this poll when I'm about to start Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, 1.7 years. 1.8 years. And I'll give you a minute to vote. Okay. Palia? I've heard good things about Palia. Stream fa Steam families gave me access to 200 new games, which I'm interested in, like, 50. And, of course, I start with RimWorld and immediately got addicted. Oh, no. It's Monday. I'm glad you're doing well, Kevi. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, the Steam family thing is fucking things up for me. Uh, this is the first time I've sworn, like, this early in stream. Like, the Steam families thing is actually messing things up for me. So... I share my library of games with a lot of people. Like, it's it's actually kind of crazy 
how many people I share stuff with. And the thing is with Steam Family is if you join someone's Steam Family, you can't, like, if you leave that family, you can't join another family for a whole ass year. And so, you, like, once you're with a Steam family, you're kind of stuck with it for life. And I just, like, I don't know. It, it, it's just messing me up. So I have to, like, basically pick and choose which Steam family I want to be part of. And, like, ugh, just too much. A headband for your VTuber. Oh, you're right, Pokemon Girl. That's a good idea. I should. I should do that. Part three will presumably be out in four to five years. Oh, okay, so there is three parts. Okay. Rebirth is a sequel to remake. Okay, okay, okay. So there's still, there's still... How much content did they add to the game? Like, it sounds like they added a shit ton of stuff. Also, 1.8 years won the poll. One and a half years in second place. One year with one and 1.6 years with, uh, with one vote. I think, like, I... Ugh. I feel like... I don't know how much extra content Tears of the Kingdom is. So I can't gauge of, like, how long it's going to take me. No, Frisk, it only took me one year to beat Breath of the Wild. I started Breath of the Wild on December... December 22nd, 2022. And I finished it in January 16th, 2023. So just over a year. Just over a year. But minus a couple weeks. Because there were some weeks I definitely could just couldn't play the game. Because I was on vacation. So I would say I would round it to basically a year. That it took me to beat the game. You're not completionist, so it only it takes slightly longer than Breath of the Wild. Okay, okay. Remake, then Rebirth, then yet Untitled Third Part, which will be the finale. Okay, how much extra shit? Like, I played Final Fantasy VII, like, the original. I played that, and the game is not that long. <laughs> like, it's pretty straightforward, so I'm actually kind of shocked that they put it into three parts. A Steam family is like a marriage proposal. Exactly, Friss. That's exactly it. No, Pokemon Girl, it took me one year. It took me one year to beat Breath of the Wild. It, I know it feels like two, chat. I know it feels like two to <laughs> for, for me to play Breath of the Wild, but I swear it only took one and then minus a couple weeks because of vacations when I couldn't actually play the game. So... Just over a year. And there was definitely some Mondays where I didn't feel like playing Breath of the Wild. Like, I just like played something else. Like, I think I played Minecraft a lot. Uh, I ride or die with the lads I share with. That's good, that's good. See, that Bowen, see, that's the, that's the type of, like, like, friend group I need. But, like, the thing is, is, like, all my friends are separated. Like, there's, like, my, my Calgary friend group, and then there's my Florida friend group, and then my Seattle friend group, and then my LA friend group, and then my Korea friend group, which I don't really talk to as much, but they're there, they exist. And then, yeah, it's just, I, the, and they don't, like, interact with each other. And, like, I share, I share a Steam library with at least one in each per, in each group. And so, like, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do anymore, you know? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Uh, remake and Rebirth both have added existing content, made some changes that range from mild to completely changing the story, added a bunch of new story, plot points, and characters. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, I would like to play it one day, but, like, it's expensive to pay, like, full price for two games when it's not even completed yet. I would hope that there would be a trilogy where I could just buy all three for really cheap. Or not really cheap, it won't be really cheap, but it would be decently cheaper than, like, paying full price for all three at, the, at launch, you know? Why don't you bring all the friend groups together in harmony? I can't, Frisk. It's like, like, that takes time. That's a thing. And, like, each friend group is at least, like, oh, God. Each friend group is at least seven people each. And it, it's, it, and the, the thing is, is, like, some of these friend groups don't have anything in common with each other. Um... Like, the, like, for example, some of my Calgary friend group people, like, they're into cars because I was a, I was a car girl growing up in, in high school and stuff. So, like, those people have no interest whatsoever in, like, the people I have are friends with in Florida, you know? And, like, it, it, it's just, it, yeah. I also don't like mixing my friend groups that much. I don't like mixing them. 
Uh, remake and Rebirth are not faithful remakes. They're telling retelling so pseudo sequels, by the way. Okay, noted, noted. I'm just curious, like, cause like the biggest. Okay, maybe I shouldn't touch upon that subject, but like the biggest gaming moment in history, arguably, happens in Final Fantasy VII, and I'm like, how do they retell that when a whole bunch of like. Like, everyone knows that it happened. Unless people don't know that it happened, then I won't say anything. But, like, it's just curious, like, how much extra content, how much they're changing. You know, I'm, I'm curious about that. I like a good story retelling. I'm a big fan. I am a resource, use me! <laughs> uh. They were into room rooms? Yes, Kevy, exactly. They were into room rooms. I was a very big car girl growing up. Actually, um, if you look if you if you look hard enough, um, you could probably find some pictures of me modeling next to cars. Um like if you look hard enough somewhere. I, I don't know where those pictures are. It's Cause like so I can't tell you where to find them, but if you find them, you'll find them. And then you can find it and see it. So, they handled that moment, won't say how, but by the end of Rebirth, you got into that part. Oh, interesting! Okay, so they- oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you, Car. Thank you for the context. Hmm, that's interesting, okay. I- I'm- I'm- I'm peaked. Interest is peaked. I wanna know. I gotta open up my- my capture card software. Where is my capture card software? There it is. Uh. Kevy C, I, I have a command for Kevy, and it's an amazing command. I actually did, of course! Kevy, you are a J. Kirsten lore staple. Kevy is a J. Kirsten lore staple that deserves a command. <laughs> yeah, Anwen gambled all, and I think lost everything. Hold on, where are the top points? Top. When's the end of the month? When is that? Top points. Is Friday gonna be the last day of stream? Yeah, Friday's gonna be the last day of stream. Sitawa! HM, Kev, Bowen, and GZ. Okay. I'll just gamble in Stardew. Has anyone played the Stardew update? I started a new save file, but like, I haven't gotten to any part where I think it's new yet. So I don't know. Apparently there's new festivals and stuff. But like, has anyone has anyone gotten to that point? First two parts gets to the end of disc one, which sounds like it was not that much, but disc two has a good bit shorter than the first one. Disc three is the last dungeon, so it's reasonable. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. You have Frisk? Is it fun? Did you enjoy it so far? You haven't, Zatara. I wonder if Aaron, Aaron, have you played it? You're a Stardew person. You play Stardew. You do the Stardew things. Uh, Satara, let's start a farm. I haven't started dude in years. My Stardew crew is now my core keeper crew. Oh, there you go. There you go. The song I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed. Okay, chat. Shall we start on the game? Oh, I haven't even, like, plugged anything in. Okay, give me a second to, like, get all this situated. Get it all situated. I've been talking for 40 minutes and I haven't even opened the game yet. Play on console? Oh, and when you play on console? Update isn't on consoles yet? Oh, That's sad. Why is the update not on consoles? On PC and Switch? I only have it on PC. Though I think it would be nice to have it on Switch. I think it would be decently nice. Hi, Sailor Rusi! Ooh, a video! Ooh, okay, I will- I will watch that after stream, Sailor Rusi. I will pick it up after stream. Exciting. Uh, PC2 by play on console mostly? Oh, I see. Wait, what console, Aaron? I didn't know you had a console. Is it like Xbox? Or Oh, I guess Switch. You have a Switch. I forgot Aaron had a Switch. I completely forgot. There you go. DS screen. How are you, Sailor Rusi? I hope you I hope you and baby Rhea and family are doing well. I hope you are doing good. I have a 9 p.m. rehearsal. Oh, Sitara, so late. Leaving the party early. Have a good night, Sitara. 
I'll get to come back and so watch them stream. Sounds good, Sitara. Why is this so loud? Have a good rehearsal. Have a good time. Okay, is this loud? This is a bit loud. It's kind of loud. Okay, this should be good. Wait, do I have my filters on? Okay, I do. I was like, oh my god, did, was I talking this whole time without my compressor on? But it was fine. You also have a PS, um, PS4. Ooh. Anyone is a big Stardew person. Continue. Mila, day 20. We're already almost to Mila day 29. How many days are there in this game? I actually don't know. I, I, I know the ending of the game, but I don't know how long it takes to get there. Uh, Guten Luckin. <laughs> oh, Sailor Rusi, it's on the Nintendo DS. It's called Wild Pets Dolphins. And it's great. It's it's really good. The writing is terrible. The gameplay is mediocre. But I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. It's been very fun. It's been very fun. Last time you started an update for consoles doesn't have a release date. Oh, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, so I guess we'll see. We shall see. I just realized that my VTuber model is like a little... Why, why can't I control... Why can't I control anything on my VTuber model? Like it's, like it's frozen. Setting. General settings. Why? Why is it not letting me zoom in on my VTuber model? Why? What's this focal length? I don't know what that does. Hmm. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay. I figured it out. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Should be good now. Okay. I just don't like it when it's, like, not close to my face. Ball check! Quickly, everyone! Check your balls. Make sure your balls are all good and dandy over there, okay? This is important. This is why daily ball checks are important. FYI, J, Final Fantasy Remake and Rebirth are 100% playable on their own, but I highly recommend replay of the original and Crisis Core first if you get around to playing them, since they kind of expect you to have an understanding of both ready. Ugh! Car! Oh, Car, why'd you say that? Oh, I mean, I'm glad you said that. But like, oh, it's been years since I've played the original and Crisis Core. Like, it's been since... God. Oh, shit. When was the... When did... When did... When did Crisis Core came out? Because I played that on launch. Whenever Crisis Core came out, I played that on launch, and that was the last thing I played. In regards to like Final Fan, like that whole thing. And then I watched the movie. The movie was good. I enjoyed the movie. From my understanding, Soul Silver is cheaper than Heart Gold. Oh, is it really Pokemon Gold? I wonder why Heart Gold's che che uh, cheaper. Crisis Score got really solid remake to make it less clunky. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's been so long. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like look into that. Dolphin versus Speedboat. Oh, is Gloria having another fit? Yeah, but she's right, you know. In this job, we've got to deal with some fishy business. Fishy business for an aquatic park. Yes, haha, -ha, you're very funny. Funny, isn't it? No? Okay. Still, it's incredible. Still, it's incredible. There are international laws against that sort of thing. Regulations on the fishing nets. Already a whole level of a whole lot of animals die because they get swallowed bits of plastic nets. Come on, Gloria, you know we'll take care of What's her name again? Oh please, Brett. Wipe that smile off your face and get take care of that poor little Oda. Instead of instead. Oda. Remaster, but they significantly changed the gameplay and heavily improved the graphics is basically a remake. Okay, okay. Oh, Heart Gold's more expensive. I wonder why. I wonder because it's like the same game. It's basically the same game. Caught in a fishing net. 
You know, Gloria, this happens often. We've seen it happen already. We know what to do. The worst part with the fishing nets is when the cetaceans catches its nose in it. He can't move its jaw, meaning he can't eat. And all that, and that's how he dies. But I talked to Cody on the phone. He told me he freed the jaw and that she could eat. She just needs to get back on a regular diet, as well as have a health checkup. Yes, but still. She was such a pretty spotty color. And now, on, a, on account of the scar she got from the nets. Yep, cause of those nets, she's no longer watertight. Mr. Blackbase, what does that mean? Were I the boss after such a silly joke, I'd order you to clean out all the pools. I don't get it. Can someone explain the joke to me? In the, mean, in the meantime, just let ev people work in peace. We have a spotted dolphin to welcome. Mila, you know what did you have to do. Take care of our new resident. Okay. Now make sure that every animal is good in good health. Okay, Cody. Uh, played Final Fantasy VII and enjoyed it before any other Final Fantasy VII stuff, but played it again after the OG Crisis Core. Legit made it better the second time around. Oh, there we go. Dolphamation, I guess. Dolph mi Dolphmation. A Dolphmation. You're Kevin, I get it. That was a funny haha. -ha. That was good. I enjoyed that. Dolphmation. Let's go see the Dolphmation named Oda. Where is it? Is it this one? What's this one? Medicine. Oh my god, I swear I'm clicking it. I'm just really bad at accuracy, I guess. Why am I so bad at this? There we go. Just came up with another name for our game show. Sitara left for... Sitara was here, but they left for night rehearsal. So... You're gonna have to wait, Kevin. You're gonna have to wait. Because... Uh, yeah, they left. Normally Sitara's here for the whole stream, but... Yeah, late night rehearsal. For the lovely Sitara. What was the name, Kev? Are you able to share it with me? Mission successful. Thanks to your care, the new inhabitants of the park are safe now. Yay! New available animal, Greater Flamingo. There we go. What's the family channel? Um, are you talking about, like, the Disney adjacent thing, Aether? Or just, like, a family channel in general? He's coming over. There we go. Make up a word that doesn't exist, and the contestants guess how you will pronounce it. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that, Kev. That's really good. I like that. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Dolphamation instead of Dolph. Oh, I see. Ooh, Kev, that's a good, that's a good segment. Chat, are you keeping it? Check of this. Oh, the poor, the poor Finn. Last thing, uh, quit before yapping about <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven. I don't mind Car. Some of the stuff in the remake, and especially Rebirth, have made it seem like they may be actual sequels to the OG game in Crisis Core, though it actually has been directly stated yet. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Might be a Disney thing, because I saw something about Life with Luca, and there's a family channel next to it. Oh, okay! So, family channel... So, in Canada, um, we never actually got the Disney channel in Canada, unless you had, like, specific cable. Um, and so, to get Disney Channel shows in Canada, um, Disney, uh, instead got something called, uh, like, they made a new channel, specifically just for Disney stuff, called the Family Channel. And the Family Channel included, um, like, American Disney shows, but it also, like, okay, here, uh, this is such a... This is so... Okay, I feel like this needs explaining. So, in Canada, you're not a you You can have any channel that you want, but in Canada, there is a law that specifically states that if you are broadcasting, so whether that is radio, TV, or broadcasting in general, um, uh, 50... I think 50% of the content that you broadcast has to be 
Canadian produced or Canadian owned content. So, um, like for example, Disney Channel can't just stream Disney Channel in Canada. Um, they can have a Disney Channel, but 50% of the programming on that channel has to be Canadian content. And so Disney as a, a company made a production company in Canada called Family Channel to produce Disney-like shows for Canada for Canadians. It's a stupid law. And so as a result, you get Disney ad adjacent shows like Life with Luca and Life with Derek and a bunch of other Canadian specific shows that were made by Disney but not labeled as Disney shows. And so um, that's why the Family Channel existed in Canada because of that. Um, the Nickelodeon uh, equivalent, it was something called Teletoon. There was a, a, t a, a channel in Canada called Teletoon that was like specifically Nickelodeon content, but also had Canadian shows, like Canadian produced shows. So there's a little Canadian history for you as to uh, that. Very, very fun. And so that's why Life with Luca is technically a Disney show, but not really, kind of, but not really exactly. So there you go. There's, there's learning some Canadian law for you today and why some shows in Canada only existed in Canada. Because by law, they had to exist in order for Disney to show their ch uh, shows in Canada. Teletoon is Nick adjacent, hopefully not as bad as Nickelodeon. Then yeah, it had some Nickelodeon shows, but for the most part, it like because of the law that it's like 50% of Canadian content, um, a lot, like, we didn't, we didn't, we have, like, production and stuff, like, not in Canada. Like, it's mostly America, but they had Canadian-produced shows. Here's a little bit of history for you. It's basically, like, the reason why the law exists is because it has, like, people were like, oh, like, the, the lawmakers in Canada at some point were like, we're losing Canadian culture. Um, and so we need to promote Canadian culture on our broadcasting and stuff because otherwise the Americans are gonna take over. <laughs> that was basically what it was. Like, the, the, the Americans are gonna take over our culture if we don't do anything about it. And so we need to preserve Canadian culture. And so, people that are broadcasting in Canada have to show off, uh, Canadian content in order to be legal in Canada. So... There's, there's your fun fact of the day. Hi, Chutney! How are you? Welcome to stream. Happy Monday. How are you? Not the Americans! It's a very funny of why that law exists. And, um... Now, the Canadian government is trying to control, like... Like, because YouTube is technically a broadcaster. Kind of, not really, I don't consider it, but the Canadian government thinks so. And so, um, there's a law now that may prevent YouTube from showing off certain content unless it's Canadian owned or operated. And to be labeled as a Canadian owned thing, there's a very specific rule set. And so you can't just be like a Canadian content creator and be exempt from the law. Like it's, it's a whole stupid ass thing, but that's another conversation for another day, I feel. That's a whole other conversation. I don't know, people would be interested in, in hearing about it. Finally, no more Americans on my feed! Atomic Betty is a Canadian cartoon, and yes, Canadian- Atomic Betty is a Canadian cartoon! You're right, Aether, you are 100% correct. There's a bunch of cartoons that are Canadian-specific. Like, Totally Spies, I think, is Amer is Canadian. Wait till the Canadian government gets Twitch. I know. It's why it's, like, so concerning how overreaching that law is in certain situations. Because, like, say, for example, the Canadian government decided, like, oh, yeah, Twitch is a broadcasting thing. And because of the law, Twitch has to show Twitch Canadian-produced content. Uh... 
in Canada. Like 50% of the homepage, if you're logged in on Canada, has to be Canadian content. By uh, certain rules, I would not be considered a Canadian content producer. Um, because I have, like, I have to be, like, labeled as a business, and it's, like, a whole bunch of shit. And, like, even though I am Canadian, and I'm a proud Canadian, and I live in Canada, I would not be considered, under current law, I would not be considered a Canadian content producer. Because of certain restrictions that the government made on themselves. And so it's dumb, and stupid, and I don't like it. And so that's why it's important to vote, children. And you, so you don't vote stupid, out-of-touch old people into your government that don't understand how the internet works. That's why voting is important and knowing who you're voting for is important. It reminds me of that guy, the... you know the... Uh, hi, Yipa, how are you? My unconscious forced me to come here, so here I am. How are you, Yipa? Happy Monday. How is it going? I hope you are well. Um, it reminds me of that, uh, American Congress person that was questioning the TikTok guy. And the, they, the question was, does TikTok access my Wi-Fi? And the TikTok CEO was like, yeah, that's, that's how we access the internet, because... Because TikTok has to access your Wi-Fi. And they're like, does does TikTok know about my Wi-Fi? And it's like, the TikTok guy was like, yeah, because that's how you access the internet. And I was just like, man, that guy's in charge of, like, writing laws and shit. <laughs> just, like, baffling. <laughs> Here in America, they're trying to ban TikTok. I heard. I heard, which I think is a stupid, that's a, that's a dumb. I don't know who wrote that shit, but they, they need to be fired. Because banning TikTok is not, it's not gonna do anything for the, for, the, like the whole, ugh, it, I can go, I can go on and on and on and on about how banning TikTok is a stupid ass idea. Because you know what's gonna replace it? Some other company that's gonna make a billion dollars. And it's just gonna, re it's gonna be, it's gonna be replaced. And it's just, it's just dumb. It's just, I, I think it's stupid. Hi, Seven, how are you? Welcome to stream. How's it going? Happy Monday. How is your day? All the creators are gonna, here are gonna be pissed. I like TikTok. I actually don't mind it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Starling! Oh my gosh! How are you? Welcome to stream. Hold on, I need to... Pause the game. Hi, Starling. Welcome to stream. How are you? Shooting stars, Starling Raid. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. How are you? How is stream? I'm considering moving to Canada. Ooh, Frisk. I think you would like it. I like. I'm. I'm a little bit biased because I'm Canadian, but I think you would like Canada. Short co form content each fries your brain. What is up, YouTube? How are you, Seven? Welcome, Raiders, welcome. Thanks for shouting out Starling, Seven. Oh, how was Stardew? Were you playing the new update? I hope it was fun. Hope it was a fun time. Yeah, welcome, Raiders, welcome. My name is Jay, and right now we're playing Wild Pets Dolphins because I, I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh. I used to love playing Pets Cats. Oh my gosh, Pets Cats was so good. I loved Pets Cats growing up. I loved all of the Pets games. Well, the ones that I played. I mostly played cats, dogs, horses, and hamsters too. And I guess this game. This game was part of my childhood. But there there were so many of them. There was an insane amount of them. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all had a lovely time in Starling stream. Thank you again for the raid, Starling. I super appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a good stream. I'm good. Just had taco for dinner. Ooh, taco. Wait, what kind of tacos? That sounds good. Flossing my teeth and I go. Fl I got the floss stuck. <gasps> oh no, Yipa. Were you able to get the floss out? You left in Stardew, loving it. Lots of love and taking care of the animals. Oh, good. Yay, I'm glad to hear that. I 
I started playing the, like, uh, like, so, like, you know how, like, the creator was like, you're best to start a new save file to experience the update. Um, so I started a new save file, and I'm on, like, day three. So I haven't, I don't think I got to any new content in the meantime, so I'm excited. I did play Nintendogs, you're right, Aether. Reading the animals and seeing what fun varieties I can end up with. Ooh, is that part of the new update? I haven't read too much on the new update. All I heard was, like, you should start a new save file, and that's it. That That's pretty much all I heard. I heard that there's new pets, but the, for, as far as I know, that's that's about it. My Nintendogs animals are probably dead now. I I checked on my Nintendogs not too long ago, but... Like, it, I played it for like two minutes and that was it. I'm okay, Seven. The snow is still here and it's still loud and proud and I hate it. But, you know, I'm living. <laughs> I'm living as best as I can. Oh, the pets games. Oh, okay. Not in Stardew. Okay, I got mixed up. That was my bad. I got mixed up. The, the, uh, I'm trying to remember, um, the pets games that I, I played the most. I think it was Horses. Horses was really fun. I remember... Oh, I, that might be a... Spo okay, does anyone care if I spoil horses on the Nintendo DS? Or 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 do you want to go into that game spoiler-free should you choose to play the game? <laughs> I, I was about to say a big spoiler for it, but then... I was about, I remember when this happened in the game and I was like, wait a minute, that's a big plot point in that game. Because when that happened, I was like, my 12 year old self was like, oh, scandal. Like, <laughs> like, oh shit. Hi, Alex, how are you? Welcome to stream, welcome, welcome. Starling, if, if, if you have to raid and run, don't let me keep you. I'm a talker, but like, let me know <laughs> if you got to raid and run. Um, but I really appreciate the raid again. Thank you. Friends, if you're not following Starling, please do so. Starling plays a bunch of cozy games. And so, if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, I highly, I highly recommend following. We did a shout out command, so it, it's just easy. Just easy to do it. You know, sorry. I opened Twitch and then that, the, the ad played. Close all these here. How dare you spoil the horse DS game? Never gonna play. Yeah. Oh, I did, Kev. I did. I just forget to press it. I did it. See, Kev, with the push of a button, I can switch the gameplay. I did that last stream. I just keep forgetting to do that. Look at that. I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. Look at that, Kev. See that, Kev? I I I did that all by myself. I figured it out. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me like 15 minutes last stream to do it, but I got it. I figured it out. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna spoil horses for y'all. I'm gonna spoil horses. Um, in horses, uh, there's, um, whatchamacallit. You, in horses, you join a horse school where you learn how to take care of horses and then do, like, horse things. So that's, like, you know, uh, you know, riding a horse, you do dressage, you do horse racing, you do, you do the whole shebang, right? And so there's a part in the game, there's like parts in the game where you like talk to the other students and, um, you talk to the other students and you get to know them. It's kind of like a, like a soft dating sim on top of a horses game kind of deal. And there's a part in the game where uh, this this one character who's kind of like an asshole, and <laughs> and um, he's like, "Oh, I bet my horse is faster than yours," <laughs> and and then your character kind of goes like, "No way, my horse is definitely faster than yours," and and so like that's like a plot point throughout the game, right? And, <laughs> and, and so the climax of the game is, like, the, the guy is like, Oh, uh, I, we should race our horses because we've been talking poo-poo to each other all semester. And, 
uh, we should race our horses. And the main character is like, oh, but that's like against school rules. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to take out your horses for, for shenanigans. And the guy is like, I don't care. L let's, let's race our horses. And then, uh, <laughs> and this is, it's, when I, when I, when I'm explaining this, it sounds so anticlimactic, but, like, this is how, this is, like, big drama when you're a 12-year-old girl, like, who likes horses, right? So this is, like, big-ass drama, right? And so, you, you, now, and then you talk to the guy, and he's like, okay, let's ho race the horses, and then it brings you to a screen where you race your horse, and then his horse is really slow. <laughs> So there's like no competition. His horse is really, really slow. And so you win. And then it goes to the next day. And then the next day, uh, the guy is expelled. He's like, the, the, the headmaster is like, yeah, he's expelled. Cause he's, he, he did a bad thing. And then you're like, oh, what about me? And they're like, no, you're fine. And then that's it. That's literally the end of the game. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. <laughs> that's such big drama. <laughs> and I was 12 years old and I was like, oh shit. I got a guy expelled. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's literally the end of the game. <laughs> and I was like, wait. And like, it's so dumb because like, Throughout the semester, there's like this big ass horse competition at the end of the semester. There's a big ass horse competition that they're like teasing. It's like, oh, you gotta get your horse ready for the big ass competition at the end of the semester. And so you're playing this game thinking that like the whole time the you're 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 training your horse to go to this big ass horse competition. And but like you don't even like play the big ass horse competition. The guy just gets expelled, and then that's the end of the game. <laughs> and I'm like, did they... Now looking back, I'm like, did they forget to develop the end of the game? Like, did they run out of time and just, like, release the game? <laughs> like... Uh, like, how... Like, did they... Did they forget? There's, like, a whole ass thing that you're being, like, built up to. And then... And then no, you don't even get to play it. And so yeah, that's that's the that's horses from the Nintendo DS, and I loved that game. Hi Blake, how are you? <laughs> Why are we raising horses? Yeah, we're talking about horses for the Nintendo DS. Yeah, I guess he was lying the entire time, Starling. And the fact that like it ended the game is kind of wild. It's kind of crazy. Oh, uh, it's his kingdom for a horse. Whose horse has the biggest ass? Yes, Kevin. Yes, I was training my horse's ass the entire game, and I didn't even get to show it off. Persona 6 reportedly being number one in its early stages, and number two is being considered for multi-platform multi launch because of how well the ports of the other Persona games are on PC. Oh, interesting. Whoa, that's crazy. Persona 6. I want to play a Persona game, but they're so long. Maybe the big ass competition was the rivals. We got expelled along the way. <laughs> Most kids don't play games all the way through, just rush the end. That's what I'm thinking, Seven. Like, I think they just got lazy and like didn't develop the end of the game and like had like a like a cop out that was like, oh, let's just end the game here and then make a make a race at the end. And but like they didn't code it properly, so your rival just ended up being slow as poop. And like, yeah. So yeah, if you ever plan on playing horse, maybe we'll play horses on the channel so I can show you all how ridiculous it is. It's actually one of my favorite games on the DS. Like not even, like no sarcasm. It's a really good game up until the ending. And then the ending is just terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Have a good lurk, Starling. Thank you again for the raid. Give your kitty extra pets from me, please. I love kitties. Persona game is just the is the next long playthrough. Can you imagine? Oh, I I would like to play Persona on the channel. Take a break from Zelda. I played Zelda for a full year. I have to replace you yet again. What's wrong with you this time? Er, well, I sprained my elbow when I fell asleep near a puddle, and er, no, that's not it. 
I heard ate rotten shrimp last night, and I'm feeling a little ill. Last night? But you ate seaweed soup. Yeah, well, I'm sick, and that's all there is to it. Now go train your dolphins so that we can get started with the show. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. You might as well take a little nap while I do your job. You tell him, Mila. All right, if you insist. Ha 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 ha, I'm off. Okay, bye. Go ahead and train the dolphin. Okay, which dolphin should we train, chat? What dolphin are we training today? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't mind Jay playing different games like horses or pets on stream. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Kevy. I'll keep that in mind. Should we train Oda? Or should we train the other dolphin? Seraphine. Oh, Seraphine has four stars in training. Let's train Oda. Because Oda's the new one. We'll, we'll, we'll beat their medicine first. Medicine. There we go. Train the purple one. I mean, they're all kind of purple. Uh, how are you, Blake? How was your day? Happy Monday. Oh, thank you, Kevy. Then watch my VTuber model freak out while I drink water. Oh, I didn't freak out that time. Train a shark? The audience will be real surprised. True. It was okay. Any? And did you do anything fun this past weekend? Okay, my, my model freaked out when I put my DS in front of my face. Perfect. Why is he here? I thought he was going to take a nap. Shrimp. Face. Yay. Not re oh, you've been sick, Blake. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, Kea. How are you? Welcome to stream. Hear me out. Pets dogs too, pets, cats too on PS2 and we are must play someday they're 3D adventure games with a little action a lot of experience. Oh, <gasps> car! Okay, you know what's super odd about the pets games is that they're all different depending on the console you play. Like pets, dogs on the PS2 are really good apparently and they're very different from the DS version. And then like they're also different on like like the Game Boy games. I've, I, I, I'm going to keep that in mind, Car, because I actually think that would be really fun to play the Pets games on stream. I'm, I'm really enjoying Pets Dolphins. Uh, I'm a little sick, but I have to go to work anyway because I don't have money. You know what? Fair enough, Blake. You push through. Just be sure to take your medicine and get lots of rest so that way it, your sickness isn't as bad. Have you heard of the company called Sintas? Sintas? That's the company that, uh, cleans towels, right? <laughs> I think that's the company that replaced the carpets at Buffalo Wild Wings when I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings. They, like, changed the carpets weekly so they could clean the carpets. I have to tell you something. Ooh, I like spicy. Pets, dogs too, and pets, cats are actually the same game except for the dog and cat difference. Okay, kind of like the Pokemon Duel release, and also other versions are nothing like the PS2 and Wii version. That's exactly the, the the versions are nothing like the PS2 and the Wii version. That's what I heard. Like they're completely different. I would be interested in playing it. I'll look into it, Car, because I haven't played those games. I played the DS versions, but yeah, apparently they're very different from um from that. So look into it. My work has towels that are cleaned by Sintas, like in the showers and whatnot. Okay, okay. Okay. Kaya's talking the story. I will get Yipa's fortune cookie quote while I do this. Yipa, your fortune cookie quote today says, A kind word will keep someone warm for years. A kind word will keep someone warm for years. And your daily numbers are two... Six eight two six eight. Oh, these are fast! What the hell? So today at dance, a girl was taking one of the new towels out. So they had bones? What? Bones? Like, like chicken wing bones, or like human bones, or unidentified bones? What the hell? That's messed up. Some kind of animal? Like, in the basket? Oh, gosh. Thank you for the follow, Stay Dot. Too big for chicken and too small for a human? Oh, interesting. So, like, like maybe rabbit? 
Very clean bones. Interesting. What the hell? So it was probably from like a restaurant. Oh my god. Has a there yeah, that is nasty. They probably got the towels from a restaurant, but they didn't clean that like they mixed up a dirty bag with a clean bag, it sounds like. That's messed up. Did you sue them? Oh my god, I'd be so mad. Oh. Yeah, I need my clean towel, my towel's boneless, exactly. People eat rabbit in Italy? I've only ever eaten rabbit once. Hi, Max, how are you? Welcome to stream. I'm not a big fan of rabbit. I'm more of a, I'm more of a, a beef and pork gal. Though I've been eating a lot of tofu recently. Tofu has been good for me. I find that I have less stomach problems when I eat tofu. <laughs> so I want to eat more tofu. I know, right, Kea? I, I used to not like tofu. Well, okay. I used to not try tofu because I was always worried that the the texture of tofu would throw me off. Um, because, like, you know how tofu is, like, soft, basically. And I was like, I don't like soft things. And so... I just didn't eat tofu for the longest time because I didn't think I would like it. But, like, um, one of my f my good friends... Uh, actually, she she comes into the stream one time. Uh, she, or every once in a while. Her name is Amelia. Or Abinia. Um, and she's, uh, like, she has a specific uh, dietary preference. And because of that, I, uh, eat, I've eaten more tofu because of it. And it's actually... When it's prepared the way that I want it to be prepared, it's really good. Tofu's so good. Jay, do you even know what it means to stream Wii games? Do, do I get... I mean, I could get, like, my Wii U, right? I've streamed my Wii U before. But, like, not my Wii. Would it make a difference, Car? What's the weirdest animal y'all have cooked and eaten? I haven't cooked it, but the weirdest thing that I've eaten is alligator. Never had tofu? Ooh, you never had tofu, Yipa? I don't really like any game meats. Fair enough. Even lamb and duck are a bit gamey for me. Oh, interesting, Riz. I love duck. Like, duck? Peking duck? Like, when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you get Peking duck? Oh, so good. I love duck. First time I ate tofu was completely unseasoned. It was revolting. Scared me away for 13 years. Yeah, you gotta have it cooked correctly. Like, you can't have, like, you know, just regular-ass tofu. You've had horse, Kea? I, mm, I feel like I wouldn't like horse that much. I feel like horse would be something that that would be like. I think it would be too stringy because they're so they're so like, like strong kind of deal, you know. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> scorpion, interesting scorpion. Yeah, I love I love duck. Duck, I'm a big fan of. Oh my god, there's three in here. How am I supposed to do this? This is crazy. Like, this is... Oh my god! Eh. Do you like meatballs or sausage? If you had horse meatball, you never know the difference? Oh, really? Interesting. Huh. Oh my god, why is my touchscreen not working? Oh my god. My touch screen wasn't working there. I'm trying to touch it better. Ever since I put the screen protector on the bottom screen, I've been having issues with my touch screen. Or sad. I do like meatballs and sausage. I'm a big fan of of the meatball and the sausage. Oh, why is it so difficult to do these last, these, these tricks? Yeah, I think, uh, I had alligator when I went to Florida. When I went to Florida a couple years ago, and it was pretty good. That was the, that's the only, like, crazy meat that I've had, though. Or, 
gator tastes good? I do like gator. Ooh, sausages. I love sausages. There's, um, this local, uh, meat shop that, um, does sausage, like, custom sausages. And they have, like, this, this blueberry sausage, where it's like, yeah, they put, like, blueberries in it. And it's really good, but it's so expensive, it's like, it's like three dollars a sausage. And it's too much. I, you can only splurge on it every once in a while kind of deal, you know? Uh, eggs? I love eggs. Which reminds me, I'm going to boil eggs tonight. So I can make egg salad sandwiches. I will do that tonight. Boil some eggies. Huh? What's going on? Oh yes, congratulations. It's a wonderful show. Ha ha ha. Mission successful. What an amazing show. New fact sheet. Greater Flamingo. New animal available. Hammerhead Shark. Now take good care of the park and score many... Okay. Thank you. We'll clean up everything now. Moose is pretty good. Similar to me. Oh, okay. I've had moose before. Moose is a... Uh... I, I, I like moose decently well enough. Um... One of the... So my mom used to be a nanny for this family, and the dad was like an avid hunter. I called him Uncle John. His name is Uncle John to me. And uh, he would like leave... He's like the type of dad to like, you know, go out for the weekend and hunt and bring back like a like a thing. And he would like use... He's, he, he was the type to like bring... Like use everything. And so I had a lot of different experiences, like trying different meats, because he would give my mom some stuff whenever he went out hunting and all that kind of stuff. It's interesting. I had like moose and deer and geese. Here's Johnny. <laughs> you had elk as a kid. I like elk, but you hated it, Bowen. As a kid. So maybe maybe your taste buds have changed. I definitely have experienced where my taste buds have changed significantly. Like I used to... Um, I used to hate... Oh, I just realized I should switch the screens. Um, I used to can't... I, I couldn't stand cheese before. But now I love cheese. Like I have to have cheese on everything. Whether that's feta cheese. Or goat cheese. Or like, you know. Brie. I love brie. Brie is my favorite. Shrimp rice, chicken rice, vegetable rice for the win. Would like to try geese? Yeah, geese is pretty good. I I decently like geese. I mean, it, I, there hasn't been a meat that I haven't liked. To be fair, my, my palate of meat, it's hard to, like, not disappoint me. <laughs> oh, I actually hated steak growing up. I did not like steak growing up. Um... I only started liking steak within the last couple years, actually. Used to hate it. But now I, I don't I don't mind it as much. I can I can't eat a full steak though. Like, you know, like the smallest steak that you can get is like a six ounce or something like that. Like, I can't I can't finish it. Hated egg yolks at first, but now that's the best part. Oh, egg yolks are the best part. This oh Yipa, I'm glad that you turned around on that. Hard to not disappoint you? Yeah, or wait, is that right? It's hard, hard to not disappoint me. Did you hear about the cheese, brie cheese going extinct? Wait, really? Brie cheese going extinct? Why would it go extinct? Wait, Kev, what's this? It's hard to, dis oh, it's hard to disappoint me. It's, it's hard to disappoint me. Not hard to not disappoint me. It's hard to disappoint me. I, I like eating. Food is like a big thing for me. I like food. Yeah, Kea, what is this brie cheese going extinct? That would make me sad. I love brie cheese. What you do is you get brie cheese and then like you put put it in like a like a food safe micro not microwave safe, uh oven safe dish. And then you put apricot spread on front on top of it. And then you put figs and you put like a little bit of rosemary on it. And you put it in the oven for like 10-15 minutes and it melts. 
and it's so good. And you dip like a, like crackers into it. And it's delicious. And like pretzels and stuff like that. Oh my god, it's delicious, chat. So good. Misgivings with the French, but they got the right idea with dipping fries into mayo. Dipping fr I used to not like dipping fries into mayo too. But um where did I dip fries into mayo? Oh, it was in and out. I dipped fries into mayo at in and out. And it was really and that that changed my mind. Is it a stinky cheese? Brie isn't that smelly. Like, it does have, like, an aroma to it. But I wouldn't say it's stinky. Like, goat... Like, if I compare it to another cheese that I like, like goat cheese... Goat cheese is stinky. I love goat cheese, but I know it's stinky. Whereas, like, Brie cheese has an aroma, but it's not stinky, you know? You feel me? So the mold used to make Brie is going extinct? Oh, is it really? So that's what's going on. <gasps> that's so sad. That makes me so upset. That's so upsetting. And I don't like that. I love Brie. No wonder Brie's so expensive. Need some medicine to you. There we go. Be nice to cheese, Jay. How would you feel if someone said you have an aroma? <laughs> You're right, Car. I need to... I need to... Ch choose my words better. I gotta think of the, the subject matters that I'm talking about before I talk about them, you know? How would they feel? I love Brie too. It's so good. Yeah, do we breed? <laughs> we need to breed more mold! Exactly like Starling says. It's exactly the right idea. Oh my gosh. Breed. Breed more mold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but for real, they need to... They, they Like, scientists need to get on that. You know, scientists are already like... Have all of... And have any of y'all seen like the lab-grown meat? It's interesting, right? That lab-grown meat stuff. I don't know if I would try it, but like, you know, I... Impossible Burger. Like, I like Impossible Burger quite a bit. And I can't tell the difference between Impossible Meat and like, real meat. And so, I was skeptical at trying it at first, but now I'm more open to eating it. Lab-grown meat, I feel like it's only a matter of time before I... before I eat it, you know? It's not that... no, no company has put it out for like public consumption yet, but it's only a matter of time, I feel. It's just interesting how science... Science! Science is crazy. You can make meat. You can make meat in a lab. The amount of stupid puns in here is insane. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Isn't it funny, Yipa? Starling made such a funny haha. -ha. There we go. If we can grow meat, we can grow... Exactly! If we can grow meat, we can grow mold. There's no reason why we can't grow mold. I can make mold in my bathroom shower if I didn't clean it enough, you know? There's no reason why we can't have the special mold that makes brie cheese. Love the vegan talk, that's my jam. Oh, sorry! Sorry, stay dot. I realize maybe the conversation isn't as inclusive, but I love the... I, I've been definitely been trying. I, I think you missed. I don't know if you were here earlier, Stay Dot, when I was mentioning about like tofu and how um, I'm trying to incorporate more tofu stuff in my diet. Because I feel like um, there's a bunch of like the thing that's gotten me thinking to eat more vegan specifically is um, like all, you know, like those news stories where it's like we're accelerating the population at an insane rate and how there is not enough food to go around for the population. And like, v like having a more vegan diet is part of the solution of, um, you know, food sustainability for the future. And that's, that's part of the reason why I want to eat more, like, more, more, more vegan stuff, you know? 
I'd absolutely eat lab-grown meat. I, I think the, the ethics behind it is a really interesting conversation. Because, like, you know, as much as, like, I... As much as I love meat, I, I still am uncomfortable with, like, you know, something had to essentially die, right? For me to have my meal. And that's, like, the circle of life so in some cases, but, like, it's still, like, an uncomfortable thought. And so a lab-grown lab meat is really something that piques my interest because of that, you know? Hey, you were vegan for a long time, really. I didn't know. I think. Oh, maybe I knew that. I just forgot. That's why I said I love vegan talk because y'all talk about vegan stuff. It's great. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Yay. Y'all are more than inclusive. It's awesome. Oh, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Yay. That makes me happy. We, tr we try to strive to be an inclusive environment here. A real? Is that what's used to log an entire form? Vid log? <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Turned a leaf into meat. A leaf into meat? That's kind of crazy. Oh, let me pause the game, otherwise my animals will be sad. I'm gonna catch up on chat real quick. There's enough food for the population, at least for now, but sustainability is always good regardless. Yeah, I think it's like my- the- the whole- I think the study that I read and the documentaries I've watched supplementing it is that the population is accelerating at such a rate where it's only a matter of time before we cannot sustain the population that we're making, right? And so... For now, we're okay, but like, I, I think like thinking more sustain sustainably and thinking of ways to supplement food in ways that, you know, like, you can only have so many chickens in one area, you know, and you can only have so many cows in an area, and it's just, it's not sustainable. And so if, if there's a way for me to reduce my impact, I, I enjoy looking into it type deal. Could just eat pasta all day. You know what, pasta, everyone should just eat pasta. I like the way you think, Starling. Pasta, just more pasta. Like <laughs> we, we just, we as a society just need to eat more pasta. My friend is vegan and he eats vegan eggs. Vegan eggs? Oh, that's interesting. Vegan eggs sound like something against the laws of science, but here we are. Veganism doesn't care about laws of silence. It bends the laws of science. It folds no laws. <laughs> oh, your dad's a pescatarian. Oh, I see, Kea. People are significantly more likely to buy the same food if it's not labeled vegan as opposed to being directly labeled, labeled as such. Oh, interesting. I guess that makes sense, Car, because people would be scared. People as a society are, like, scared to try new things, you know? I was definitely in that boat. Like, when Impossible Meat was, like, coming into the scene, um, I was very skeptical about it at first. Like, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. But... Then we got Impossible Meat at the restaurant that I was working at, and I tried it, and it was so good. I was like, okay, I can, I can do this. Like, I, I can get behind this, you know? And I think as long as people are willing to try it, but that's the thing, people aren't willing to try it. People aren't willing to try, and so how can we, like, how are we supposed to live on the moon if people aren't willing to try, you know? <laughs> There's no cows on the moon. We can't expect to bring millions of cows on the moon. How are we gonna sustain ourselves for the future if people aren't willing to try? Had Alfredo today way ahead of you. Oh, there you go. See, Bowen's already on board. Too bad pasta is pure carb, but carbs are good in, in, you know, in, what is it? Mo what's the word? Moderation. Carbs are good. Pasta and cheese together is amazing. It's true. Wonder what greater flamingo tastes like. <laughs> greater flamingo? <laughs> Seven! <laughs> Carbs are good. It helps with balancing your body, also your brain functions. I remember that, like, when growing up, like, in the mag... You know, like, those girl magazines? Um... Growing up, I always read, like, oh, carbs are bad for you. Like, don't eat rice. Rice is bad. Like, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I'm Asian, right? To give you background, I'm Asian. And I remember I was, like, oh, like, as a teenager, I was, like, oh, carbs are bad. So I'm not going to eat rice anymore. And then I went to the Philippines, and all of my cousins were skinnier than me. And they all ate rice. That's all they ate all day. <laughs> And I was like, wow, this is crazy. The l magazines lied to me. <laughs> I don't get skinny off of not eating carbs. I need to eat more carbs. And I remember I, because I was in the Philippines for a month. 
and all I ate was rice and like meat. Like all I ate was rice, meat, and beans in the Philippines and fish. And I lost legit like 20 pounds off of that just being in the Philippines. Cause like I, I was just so used to processed foods here living in Canada. And like the bread is just better there. Like the bread isn't as sweet there, it's better. And like it's just the food there is just better and the food's more fresh and the mangoes aren't freeze dried. <laughs> And I was like, wow, like, I, I, it really, like, that, that whole vacation with my parents really changed my relationship with food, you know? And I, it was just like, oh, I, like, I need to eat things that make me happy as long as I'm, like, you know, having a balanced diet and having, you know, thinking, being, being more thoughtful with my food. It really changed my relationship with food. What are even carbohydrates? Don't tell me. I don't care. I still eat pasta. <laughs> People are way more likely to buy vegetable lasagna with zucchini noodles than vegetable vegan lasagna with zucchini noodles. Oh, really, Car? Oh, that's an interesting study. Just literally, purely the wording. That's interesting. People are too scared of fats and carbs, but shouldn't be. They're healthy fats too. Exactly, exactly. You can take away my life, but you can't take away my rice. No one takes away my rice. The girl magazines also told me to take cold showers so my hair would be shiny. Right, Starling? Well, looking back, there were so many, like, toxic things in those girl magazines. I remember the, the girl magazines telling me that I should skip lunch and only eat breakfast and dinner. I remember, like, reading that specifically. And I'm like, wow, these ma girl magazines are, like, teaching people to, like... Like, have, like, a really unhealthy relationship with food. And it's just, like, yeah, it was just really eye-opening, you know? Plenty of information about carbs being good. The bad myth that it would be bad. But having too much any of anything isn't good, of course. Exactly! Like, you can't just, like, live off of one thing, you know? It's good to have everything in moderation. The problem with carbs is that you have to be very conservative with them if you have something like a kidney disease or diabetes. That's very fair, Car. That's Car. That's fair. You did, Seven? I mean, Seven, you played you played sports, right? Or wait, am I mixing you up with someone else? Cold showers are good when you're in sports. Like if you're into like football or soccer. Cold showers are good for that. Yes, yeah, suffer for beauty, exactly, Starling. Variation is pure gold that will make your body balance. Just enjoy life. Yes, enjoy life. Don't be scared of different types of food and trying something new sometimes. And fun, food is fun. Food is fun. Food should not be a painful experience. And if this, uh, I just want to throw this out there that, um, you know, if the, if the, if us talking about food is triggering for you, then I want to apologize ahead of time. But I think it's good to have this conversation about food because food is such a big part of our daily lives. And it's important to have these conversations in order to educate ourselves and make sure that we're not, you know, perpetuating, um, like harmful stereotypes, like don't skip, like skipping lunch and stuff like that. <laughs> like don't skip lunch eating is important and so if you're if i want to just reach out and say if anyone in chat is like lurking and like um thinking like you know it, it, it's okay to have an open discussion and just know that we're here to support you and and just want to i just want to throw that out there because i know food can be a triggering subject for for some people so i just want to extend the olive branch and let you know that we're here for you and it's important to have these conversations, you know, but if you are struggling, like, feel free to, to just, um, step back from the conversation and take your time to process it. Um, because we, we have been talking about food a lot this stream. <laughs> and I just want to, I just want to extend the olive branch in case anyone's listening or lurking and paying attention to the conversation. So, just throwing that out there in case anyone is, is in the audience out there is, is in that mindset. Uh, if you don't have an eating disorder, you'll be ugly is definitely advice. Not good advice, but advice, right, Car? Oh my gosh. Played a whole lot of basketball. Oh, there you go. So the cold showers probably really helped you with that, Seven. Paper bag! I love that. Really grilled ones too. Yummy yum. I love grilled tofu. Vegan salmon. I haven't tried vegan salmon before. Something that is against the laws of science. Oh, Yifa. Yeah, Dot. Um... 
I, I was I was reaching out to the people that may be struggling with perhaps a, an eating disorder or may have like um, maybe having an unhealthy relationship with food and so that that uh, PSA warning was just just reaching out to those people in the audience who may be you know suffering I I, I want to say like suffering in silence is the the um, maybe word I will go with in case you know that you never know what someone is going through so I just want to um, reassure those people that they are valid and if the if the subject matter of food is triggering it's okay to step back from stream and and not listen if it if it is triggering for them paper bag because I was a late I was late with him and uh, like brown because of your skin color seven I don't know how I like as long as you liked the nickname as long as you liked the nickname, then it's then it was okay. <laughs> Paper bag is an insane nickname to have because of that, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. As long as you were happy with it. I'm kind of worn out, yeah. I came from, from medicine supplies and just wanted to relax for a while and take a couple of minutes if you must. It wasn't bad. I'm glad you liked it, Seven. I'm glad you liked it. It, it, I know the sports world is a totally different, like, culture that I'm not, like, like, team sports specifically. I'm not super, like, like, I know the culture is different. Like, people say not as PC things <laughs> in that culture. I was more into individual sports, so I never got to experience, like, that side of, uh, of sport culture. Some people called you Wonder Bread in high school, Kev? Oh my god. See, that's what I mean. Why are people making nicknames based off of the color of their skin? I, I definitely, like, it, you know, when you're when you're younger, it's a little different. But, like, I, like, <laughs> Kev understands. <laughs> Fun fact, weight gain and weight lo and loss is not about carbs, fats, and proteins and sugars. It's mostly about calories. Anyone telling you something like cutting all sugar out of your diet is healthy will make you lose weight is wrong. Oh, interesting, Car. Thank you for for putting that in chat. I de I definitely do know that like having a calorie deficit is important for for losing weight. Got made fun of for being too pale too. I got made fun of in high school for 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 a multitude of things, but definitely I like it actually came from my own family. Like my cousin thought I was adopted because I wasn't the same skin tone as my parents, and she called me adopted. And I was like, man, how about we just not touch that subject at all? But like from my own family, from my own family, she made fun of me for it. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> but as long as you're okay with it, then you know. I'm not the type to tell people how to feel. Watch you during the first care session. Oh, and I did something wrong, right? I did something wrong and you want to talk about it, don't you? I'm not going to be able to continue caring for the animal. Why is Mila so, like, unconfident? Dolphins are cool and stuff. I don't know if you knew. <laughs> Dolphins are pretty cool. On the contrary, you're very perceptive and focused, and the animals can feel it. Consequently, they're very calm, as if they were reassured, even pacified. Uh, people in elementary school asked me if my parents were Italian because I ate a lot of pasta for lunches. Yipa is already on that pasta train. You know that pasta train we were talking about? Yipa was already on that. Eating disorder sucks. I have both of them. It goes both ways. Nothing written on paper like a diagnose. Just recognize it wasn't healthy in some ways. That's, I'm glad you self-recognize. That's that's really good. But eating food in general is so important. Exactly. Eat, sleep, and drink water is important. Keep health and mind alert. Exactly, exactly. I'm glad that you self-recognize, Dot. I, I hope you don't mind if I call you Dot. Or do you prefer the word stay for your, for your name? Or do you prefer if I say the full stay Dot as your full username? Just let me know. I have nicknames for everyone in chat, as I, or at least I try to remember everyone's nicknames. Please keep it. <laughs> They're menaces. Yeah, Car. I, you were the one who told me that dolphins are assholes, right? Dolphins are just straight up assholes. Like they just like make they bully each other. And you think that it's the, thanks to me? Okay. Yes, we get it. All the animals like me. Of course, this is something that requires work. You can't just rely on being gifted. You also have to spend... 
time a lot of time with the animals watch them and understand them oh we understand them yeah starling that we learned last was it last stream that we streamed this we learned last stream that like dolphins like bully each other like if they don't like a dolphin they'll like bully them and stuff and they're just really mean about it and i'm like man i don't that's kind of mean <laughs> dolphins are so mean stay dot stay dot everything works okay okay i'll keep that in mind we'll call you uh, we, well i like dot dot's cute i like that one Stud car <laughs> watching ponyo today i approve of it also fujimoto's the best oh ponyo's really good i'm a big fan of ponyo was it Miley Cyrus's sister the one that voices the 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 voice of Ponyo or something? Or am I thinking of a different movie? Oh, Ponyo's your favorite movie. It's so cute. Yipa, was it your first time watching Ponyo? Like you hadn't watched Ponyo beforehand? Ponyo's good. I remember it was everywhere. You haven't seen it, Seven! Oh my gosh. Seven, you should get ham. Ham is important. If you want ham, your happiness is important. You should eat. I think, uh... My, my co-worker was mentioning how she loves ham. But you know what she puts on ham? So this was like a couple weeks ago she mentioned this. She puts ranch on her ham. Because she loves ranch. And I'm like, I, I don't think I would ever think about putting ranch on my ham, you know? But she she likes ranch. Made a reel about Ponyo today. So funny that y'all brought up Ponyo. Oh, look at that! The universe speaks. It's funny when you, like, do something and then something later on in the day happens related to it. And you're like, oh yeah, I did that. Mix honey and hot sauce and put it on them. Ooh, honey hot. Honey hot ham. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. I took a nap before stream. And I didn't have a chance to make dinner yet. I'll probably make potatoes. Potato! I love potato- Potato! Can we talk about how potatoes is such a versatile food? Like, you can do anything with a potato and it will just cook. Ramen bowl in that movie. Ooh, yeah, Yipa. How dare you? What are you waiting for? Leave stream right now and do that now. Wait, Car! You gotta watch Ponyo. Ponyo's really good, Car. I think you would like it. Or Kiki's Delivery Service. That's a good one. Oh, wait, Riz, it's your birthday today? Oh my gosh, wait, Riz, it's your birthday today? Hold on, this... Riz, we have to sing happy birthday. This is important. This is important. We gotta, we gotta sing the happy birthday. Where is my happy birthday button? Are you ready, Riz? We're ready, we're ready. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Riz! Happy birthday to you! Yay! Happy birthday, Riz! Happy, happy birthday! I hope it's a lovely day today. Uh? I have other things to watch, too. Oh, fair enough, Car. Yeah, see? You can mash them. You can put you can put anything. Honey on grilled cheese is a game life changer. Honey on anything is a game changer. I started putting honey on my pizza. It's so good. Honey and grilled cheese is also very good. Kiki's my favorite. Kiki's delivery service is really good. Eating is important. Why I got confused over why eating food was so healthy would be triggering, but I would completely be slow in mind at the moment because not enough sleep. That's okay, Dot. That's okay. It's good to ask questions. We're a very open stream. You can ask anything here. Most of the Ghibli films is Studio Ghibli food looks so good with the crappy AI interpolated compilation of Studio Ghibli cooking scenes has been reposted probably like a million times. <laughs> Riz, I'm glad you had a... I, thank you for spending a little bit of your birthday with us. I feel honored. Hopefully... Hopefully you have a good birthday. Do you have any plans? I mean, it's Monday. 
So, you know, the, you, you, you have the weekend to celebrate. Type deal, you know? It's important to celebrate your birthday with people that you love. I remember one year for my birthday. Oh, it was COVID! It was during COVID. During COVID, um, I spent my birthday online. Because I did, I couldn't have a party. Because COVID started, like, so, like, really close to my birthday. Um, the Christmas before COVID started, I got really sick. And I'm fully convinced that it was probably COVID. I was super sick. I was sick for like seven days. I've never been sick that long. Usually I'm sick for only like three or four days at most. But I was sick for seven days straight and I only started feeling mildly better on like the eighth day. It was awful and I'm fully convinced that it was COVID before we knew it was COVID. Because Chrissy was also sick. It was me... Chrissy and we were hanging out together and then we got sick and they would Chrissy and I were sick for like Like yeah, like seven days straight each and I was like wow This is the most sick that I've ever been and I was so sad because it was over Christmas and it was um, My aunt was hosting Christmas that year and my aunt makes really good spaghetti and I was so excited to eat her spaghetti I was really freaking excited about that and so my dad did the dad thing and He went to my aunt's house and got some spaghetti and then drove it back to my house And then gave me the spaghetti and then went back to the party and I was so happy My dad did that because I was really sad that I couldn't eat my mom's my my aunt's spaghetti I was so upset about it but I'm fully convinced that I had COVID during that time. Hear me out. What is it, Ipa? Luck is godless and she has smiled upon me today. What happened, Ipa? Shrimp. White stuff. Green stuff. Tuna. Oh, this one. There we go. Not really, but I celebrated with my friends on Saturday. Oh, nice, Riz. I'm glad to hear that. Your mom says the exact same thing. Did your mom get sick, like, the... The weeks leading up to the world shutdown. That's kind of scary that, like, a virus can just, like, take out so many people. It's so sad. Uh, medicine. Okay, I will pause and I'm, I'm getting slowed down and need to catch up on chat. So give me a momento and I will catch up on chat. Uh? You, you, really? You never got... The Rona? Really, Bowen, at all? You're very lucky. I got Rona three times while, um, while during, like, the whole, you know, the bulk of it happening. They're finding out more things about chronic fatigue and syndrome thanks to COVID. They also think getting COVID does massive damage to your immune system. I think, I, I would say that, and it's close to comparable to H HIV slash AIDS, I see. To Studio Ghibli, food does actually look good, takes... All I have to not leave bite marks on my screen whenever I see that video. Oh, car. All out of bus tickets. The convenience store didn't have any tickets, so I was screwed. Still had to go to the school. But luck is a goddess. And she likes me a lot. Today is International Public Transportation Day. So you got it for free. Oh my gosh, Yifa. That luck is crazy. That luck is crazy. Oh my gosh, that's funny. A vegan sushi restaurant. Ooh, I imagine they exist. That sounds like something... That sounds doable. Like, vegan salmon is a thing. And sushi is just, like... Um... Like, so sushi isn't actually the fish part of sushi. Sushi is just rice. Um, and so... Rice is just vinegar and sugar. And that's what makes the rice, like, that sushi taste. And so you could probably find, like, vegan sushi places. Vegan sushi rolls for me? Ooh, yummy! Mmm, I'm so hungry, chat. I'm so hungry! All this food talk got me thinking about my dinner. COVID do do anything to my immune system? I'm just built different? Is it... <laughs> oh, car! Car, oh my gosh. Fair enough, Car. Fair enough. I definitely feel like 
um, I don't know if this is just like placebo or if I if it's all in my head, but I definitely feel like I'm getting tired more easily. I don't know if that's because I'm just getting old or if it's like because I caught Corona three times, but I definitely feel like I, I get tired easier. I did skip dinner again, Bowen. I made the mistake and took a nap instead of ate food. And I'm glad that I took the nap because I needed the nap. But, like, because of that, I didn't eat before stream again today. Certain sauces that isn't vegan, so that's also part of it. Oh, yeah! Soy sauce isn't vegan. That's right. There are vegan soy sauces, but they're, the thing about that is that they're expensive. Um, I saw vegan soy sauce at the grocery store one time, and I was like, oh, I'll just get that. But then it was like, it was like $17. And I'm like, okay, I, I would love to try this, but $17 for a bottle where soy sauce is just $3. And I'm like, in this economy, I cannot afford this currently. Would like to try it one day at a restaurant if they have the option. Strawberry! There you go. What's for dinner, Jay? I think I want chicken today. Or maybe potatoes. Like, just straight up, like, mashed potatoes. Like, just a plate of mashed potatoes. I've been really craving potatoes these past couple days. I had scalloped potatoes the other day, and I love scalloped potatoes. They're so yummy and tasty. But, um, now I want more potatoes. Oh no, someone's hurt! Who's hurt? Why did you get hurt? Meat and potato? Yummy. So anime is cringe in North America? Are cartoons cringe in Japan? I don't think... I definitely think that anime is a little bit more mainstream than it used to be in North America. Like, I found out that, um... Uh... I found out that the new Demon Slayer movie is, like, being shown in theaters as, like, an actual movie. Whereas, like, back in the day, if you wanted to watch an anime movie, you had to go to, like, special websites for that. Kaya, I have a, a, a what should I call it? I take like a woman's supplement, like you know, like those like generic like like kind of like this is what women should take kind of vitamin thing, but they're gummies. I have like these vitamin gummies that are specifically for women kind of deal. My doctor told me I should take them, so I started taking them. My therapist also told me I should take them, so I started taking them. <laughs> I have lots of information to go through. I would completely understand why you're getting tired. You know what? Fair enough, Dot. That's true. Seven years since anime was cringe in the West. <laughs> I actually look down upon and cringe cartoon enjoyers in Japan. It's so funny. Really? There are like people who argue over the sub versus dub on the King of the Hill of all things. Really? Sub versus dub on... Ki Wait! King of the Hill is dubbed in Japanese in Japan? I kind of want to see that. Because King of the Hill, a lot of the humor is very, like, local humor. Like, very American humor. And I know Japanese humor is not the same as American humor. So that kind of blows my mind that King of the Hill is freaking dubbed in Japanese there. That's crazy. Take B and D extra. It'll help me with my energy levels. I'll have to look into that, Kaya. Because, like, yeah, whenever I get home from work, like, I immediately have to take a nap. Also, getting exhausted is definitely easier when you get older, but vitamins can help, too. I'll have to, like, maybe look into different vitamins. I like the vitamins that I take. I definitely feel, like, better about myself with them, but I'm still tired. And I get, like, a decent, like, seven and a half hours of sleep every night. You like, uh, do I look like I know what a subtitle is? <laughs> Most Western cartoons have Japanese dubs, actually. Really? That's interesting. Jay says back in the day, it sounds like Jay is in her 40s, but Jay's probably 26. <laughs> Most anime is cringe. I like being cringe anime watcher. I'm a big fan of my cringe. Oh shit, that's not the thing I wanted to press. I mean, we're done. We could probably, like, close this day out. Okay. 
close. Sea cows, day 25. People who are like, wow, Japan is so cool, everything's so much cool in Japan. Over here, they're obsessed with the United States, it's unbelievable. That's, that's such an interesting, like, switcheroo. Because I would love to... I would love to experience Japan, because Japan does seem really cool. They just put a different cultural joke. I but the Ipa, the the whole point of King of the Hill is like like dumb American stereotype. Like that's the whole like parody of King of the Hill. And so that's why King of the Hill specifically is interesting to hear that it's dubbed in Japanese. Like do they put stereotypical like Japanese person jokes in there? Like I I just it's it's hard for me to imagine what kind of translation like do they do a localization of king of the hill or do they just do a straight up word for word like dub of it it's so it like that specifically is very interesting to me uh like people who are like well oh i already read that from car speaking of anime there's more drama over the blue archive anime what's wrong with it Popular joke in foreigners in Japan YouTube is the Japanese language is rapidly turning into English. <laughs> Lando said Japan is exactly what you think it is, but you'll get sick from the jet lag. Oh, see, I'm worried. Like if I travel to Japan, not if, when I travel to Japan, one day I will travel to Japan. Um, I'm worried that uh, the jet lag will really mess me up because sometimes the time difference between here and when I fly to Florida is a little too much for me. Like it takes me a like two days to get used to it. And it's only a time difference of two hours. They have to act quickly. These animals are almost extinct in the West Indies. They are already extinct in Martinique and Guadalupe. Hotel Profoli proliferation has reduced their natural habitat and destroyed marine fauna. Manatees munch on emerged plants such as sea hyacinths and mangroves, which is why they are often called sea cows. Sea cows! If there are fewer plants, they eat less. Consequently, they waste they waste away. They reproduce less and less. What's more, they rather pla they're rather placid animals that swim slowly and are often wounded by speedboats. Oh, that's sad. Saw a video with two Japanese fellows arguing over the King of the Hill sub versus dub. I don't have to read the subtitles in the dub. No, the original keeps the English voice acting and intent with int artistic intent intact. Car, you have. Can you send this to me? Can you send this to me, Car? I need to see this with my own two eyes. The anime fans are having a meltdown because uh, Sensei in Blue Archive is a cute man. Oh, I see. And they have many people telling me that you must wear masks in the airplane because of cold flus and strep throat. Yes! I like that culture in Japan. You have to wear a mask when you're sick. Never been two time zones away from Alberta. Really, Bowen? Oh, no. If you and when you go to Japan, you'll get, like, really messed up. Jet lag is so bad. Aren't you in chat technically married since we had technically lived with you for many years with the laws in Canada? We're common law. Me and chat are common law. Something you always got to remember, lest you go insane, is that people who complain about stupid stuff like that are an extremely vocal minority of weirdos and not the average person. That's so true. I was reading that about, um, like my favorite airline today. Which is oddly specific, but I was reading that about my favorite airline of like the the entire subreddit of that airline is just people complaining And then there was a post today that said man this subreddit is too negative and the vocal minority And I'm like that's so true whenever I fly with this airline. It's no problems But I don't talk about like oh this airline did good today. I never talk about that in public So you usually only ever see the negative like comments online Apparently they haven't eaten enough. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it were on account of Habox building sites. Yes, the life of manatees. Locks mana. What's, what lacks mana are your puns, Brett? Okay, we've got to get to work. Mila, are you ready for today's mission? You have to prepare a pool for the two manatees. They'll need rest to rest a lot. All that for a manatee, oh boy. Another remark like that. I don't understand Brett's puns. Like, his humor just whooshes over my head. I don't understand what he's trying to say. There we go. For the Simpsons. 
I see in Quebec and French on TV. They change famous people's names and references. We wouldn't understand the things that are known here. Oh. That's interesting that they change it in the French version. You would think that they keep it. Especially in Quebec. Like, Quebec is in Canada. It's not like they're in a bubble. Two takes. It takes two days to get over jet lag. That's usually how long it takes for me to get over jet lag. Whenever I fly in the US. Which is a little frustrating because... Like, that's two days of vacation. I don't want to take two days resting. I want two days of vacation. This game is really funny! Oh my gosh, Car, no! We're not giving this game any more praise than it needs to. Hi, Sitara! How are you? Welcome to stream. How was your rehearsal? Oh, Kev was looking for you, Sitara. Kev, are you listening or are you lurking? Satara is here. White. Green. Blue. Purple. Green. Purple. Red. There we go. Hi, playing gamer! How are you? Welcome to stream. Happy Monday. This game deserves praise, I <laughs> Uh, oh, posture check. Thank you, Yifa. Thank you. Gonna lurk and do chemistry? Good luck with your chemistry homework. Good luck, good luck. Chemistry is ass. I almost failed chemistry in high school. Like, it was fine up until they added numbers in chemistry. Exam this Thursday? Yeah, get that done. Congratulations, young lady. You've obtained the necessary grades to build a new pool. The Wizaps are proud to grant you the authorization to build Manatee Pool. Wow. Couldn't find the King of the Hill argument video, but apparently YouTube is loaded with videos of Japanese King of the Hill. Oh, I gotta look into that. I gotta see that with my own two eyes. I gotta see. Because that's crazy. Like, that's wild. Oh my god. There we go. I was only okay with the numbers? Yeah. Numbers in chemistry, not a fun time. Oh, these are pelicans. Where is manatee? Manatees. Manatees. Look at that! Now make sure that every animal is in good health. Yay. Let's feed them first. And then we'll give them their medicine. It's important to eat before you eat medicine. Oh shit. Man, I made a mistake. Do you think a manatee would taste good? Like beef? I don't... Uh, I don't... I'm not sure. I feel like no. Because um, they're kind of big. And they're big because they swim in cold waters. Because they need the fat to protect themselves from that. And so I feel like it would- I don't think they would- I don't think it would taste very good. And they're too cute to eat anyway. So I don't think I would- I would be on that boat. Purple! And the cheese are actually mermaids! True! They are! They look like mermaids! They're so cute! Yay, we did it! Every time I think of chemistry, I just remember the Tumblr post of the scuffed Shrek models that's still being used as an example of covalent bonds. <laughs> me when I hit middle school and suddenly letters begin showing up in my math homework. Exactly, Car! That's literally me. That is literally me. In... Like, that emote is me in middle school when letters started showing up in my math. Why are there letters showing up in my math? That's ridiculous. And they should feel bad for putting letters in my math. The chemistry math also, like, really messed me up. Because there's so many things you have to remember about chemistry math, too. Like, the atomic number, and, like, how many freaking, like, protons or something are in a thing. And just, it's too much. Too much. Too much stuff. I hated chemistry. Letters just want to be included! No, Sitara! 
Math is for numbers only. And that's what I was taught. Oh, oopsies. Math is for numbers only. That's it. Oh my god, this one's a little bit of a... Okay, I remembered. Hi, Steven! How are you? Kind, and I hope you have fun. Oh, thank you. Also, you have a VTuber character. I do, yeah. I didn't want to turn on my face cam today. I was not feeling up for it. The face cam was not it today. I'm probably gonna shower after stream and then and then eat dinner. Gatekeepers! Character stills are actually pretty soft. Right? Car, the, the art of the characters aren't too bad. I actually don't mind them as much. The writing is questionable, to say the least. Writing very questionable, but it's okay. Let me see, the lore. Little Shrek things, oh my gosh. Covalent bonds. <laughs> oh my gosh, Car, that's funny. Man, I miss Tumblr. Can we as a collective just like not go on Twitter anymore and just be on Tumblr? I prefer Tumblr more than anything. Did you see that the that Lush is doing a Shrek collaboration? Lush is doing a Shrek collaboration. And so like a bunch of their like newer products are bright green. Yeah, Tumblr's still there, Sitara, but no one's on it. That's the problem. I'm on Tumblr pretty actively, but I'm starting to see like the same things over and over in my feed because no one's on it. <laughs> the state of our union. I need more Tumblr in my life. I like Tumblr. I need to bring it back. You miss Tumblr? Been on Tumblr train for years. I don't know where you've been at. I I was I was on Tumblr. Like, years ago, like a really long time ago, I was on Tumblr. And then, I think- I just stopped for whatever reason. I guess because I- I was in high school when I was on Tumblr, and then, like, after I graduated high school, I didn't go on it anymore. And then I went back onto Tumblr, saw all my old cringy stuff, and then, uh, and then quit Tumblr. <laughs> And then, and then I reopened Tumblr. I have a Tumblr, friends. Uh... J. Kirsten... Kirsten... Dot... Tumblr... Dot... Com... My Tumblr looks like Twitter. And I'm very happy about that. This is my Tumblr. If y'all are interested. And then this is if you do... Oh, it's loading really slow. If you do fan art, if you do fan art, I actually post it here. I don't think I've said that publicly. I know a couple people that know of it, but if you ever do fan art of, um, of, like, the J. Kir like, if you do a J. Kirsten meme or anything, uh... <laughs> I just saw, oh my god, I just saw one that I completely forgot about. Oh my god. I just saw, I'm dead. I completely forgot about this. This is so funny. <laughs> I completely forgot that, that midget nerd made this. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh my god, I'm dead. Anyway, if you ever make fan art for the J. Kirsten stream, I actually post it on here. Um, and so, uh, yeah. If you ever... I love this one. This one's like one of my favorite fan arts that I've gotten. Because it's so cute. It's me and Quissy. And then Kea. Kea drew Limburg for me because I love Limburg. So yeah, yeah, in, in case, in case, in case you ever are curious of where, is there a place for J. Kirsten fan art? Yes, there is a place for J. Kirsten fan art, and it's on notjkirsten.tumblr.com. So, in case you are wondering. You did, Alcade, and I posted it there. I don't know if you saw, but I posted it there. Because I love, I love, I love seeing it. Um, Brett, 
Waldo told me to come by. What's up? What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's in 12. Okay, we'll play one more day. We'll play one more day. I think it's about time for you to change how to put it. To move on. Excuse me? You think I'm in the way? What? No, of course not. I was talking about training. Dolphins are cool, but think that you should move on to something bigger. You're saying that I should... Train the orcas, exactly. What? But they're so much bigger than dolphins. Isn't it dangerous, at least? Haha, <laughs> not in the least. Alright, it's true that they're much bigger, but they're very similar to dolphins. Look at that. Tumblr is the- Tumblr is a goat, I can't lie. The Monster Inc. one is, is really good. I don't think I posted... ...that one. Oh, I did! I did! The Chrissy chat- this one! Oh my gosh, this one's so funny. This one's good. <laughs> this is so funny! I remember this conversation! I remember vividly this conversation and how there was a short player in the Space Jam movie and everyone was like, no, Jay. Like, there, there were all tall. And I was like, no, I swear to God, there was one short one because, like, I remember this vividly and no one believed me. And so I remember that we watched Space Jam, like, literally two weeks later on the stream. Or not on stream, on the Discord. Oh, Sitara, here. Sitara, this is this is the Jay Kirsten fan art blog. And so if you've made Jay Kirsten fan art before, I've posted it on the blog. And I don't think I have showed anyone this. And so, um, fan favorite is this one. Jay trying to explain how there was a short basketball player in Space Jam. And, and Chrissy and chat not believing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, here, let me see this poem. Oh, I gotta watch this. I'll watch that after stream. I'm gonna put that in my... in my to watch after stream tab. Isn't that an incredibly verifiable thing? Just like, I know exactly, Sitara! But no one believed me! No one believed me! And it was very upsetting, because I knew I was right. I freaking knew I was right. Oh, pain and suffering. So that was my life that day. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay, hold on. Uh, add points, seven, squish, 2,000, enjoy. Thank you, Sitara. Space Jam... Honestly, Space Jam is a pretty mid-movie. But, you know... It's a- it's a classic. It's a classic movie. That has a cult following for a reason. I haven't seen the new Space Jam. I haven't seen it. We love Shaq and Barkley. Wait, wait, what is that? up the manatee pool. Yay. Health is good. Health is good. We'll feed you. There we go. It's a mid-movie but full of nostalgia. Yeah, it's a mid-movie but full of nostalgia. That's a good way of putting it, Seven. Mid-movie, but yeah. Cult classic. It's been one of those days. Is best known for his love of churros and outing Jesse Smollett. Oh, really? Like, outing as in, like... Like, what Jesse Smollett... Didn't Jesse... Isn't that the guy that lied? That... Lied that, um... He was beat up or something like that? He, it's that guy, right? And he was like, I didn't lie. And the police were like, you did lie. And then the surveillance videos were like, you did lie. Or something. He's the guy who lied? Okay, okay. That's what I thought. I was like, that name sounds familiar, but I couldn't... I was like, I knew he did something bad. What was his crime? There we go. Fed them. Fed the stingrays. And clean up the garbage. Make sure 
sure the flamingos are all healthy. Oh my god, I swear I hit that. Space Jam 2 is like Space Jam, but LeBron instead of MJ. And basketball games and 3D animation, despite the rest of the movie being really good 2D animation, a lot of the shoehorned wipe WB properties really not even much worse than the original. Okay. I, I kind of want to watch it. Because if I watch, if I like the first one, maybe I'll like the second one. You know? And I like LeBron James. I think he's a cool guy. He's pretty neat. By the way, don't commit crimes with money. True. Or just don't commit crimes. I like that one. Don't commit crimes. And you'll be all be okay. Like, don't break the law. Like James Braun. The Lakers have lost every game in the... No oh, really? Wait, why? What happened? That's not good. I thought the Lakers were, like, good. Space Jam 2 doesn't suck because it's significantly worse than the OG. It sucks because it doesn't have the same nostalgia factor. Fair enough. There we go. Maybe in, maybe in like 20 years, Car. Maybe in 20 years, we'll, we'll, it'll be nostalgic. <laughs> we'll give it a bit. They're not good this year, but we'll see in the playoffs. Okay. Sag. I don't keep up with basketball. If you if you wanna if you wanna hear someone that keeps up with basketball, that's Chrissy. Chrissy keeps up with the basketballs. I mostly keep up with figure skating drama. That's like my big thing. And hockey, I guess. Hockey I pay attention to. I like hockey. LeBron Lames? <laughs> Chaos. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm getting hungry. It's hungry time. The Spurs won today. Ooh, nice. Because Bugs Bunny was, was posing as LeBron all these years. Wait, what? Now LeBron actually has to learn the game! <laughs> oh my gosh. I did a shitty health job with that. LeBron in shambles. Am I the only Kanye who does not care a single bit about hockey? Probably not, Ipa. Though, like, is there a reason why you don't care about hockey? Is it just you just don't care about sports in general? Or is it just specifically hockey? Yeah, for me, it's figure skating and hockey. Figure skating is, is my big one. LeBron Lame's behavior. <laughs> it was Bugs Bunny the entire time! Can you imagine? That's a conspiracy theory. I don't keep up with any sports, just need, just e not even esports? Ooh. Not even esports, eh? I mean, to be fair, esports is kind of lame. Like, sorry for any esports lovers in chat. But esports is kind of a lame thing to like. I don't know. At least the esports that are like. I like fighting games. Fighting games are things I can get behind. I've been watching fighting game tournaments for years. That's why I went to Evil that one year. But, um. Yeah. Other than that, nothing, nothing really else. Feed the Sharky. Oh, shit. That was definitely my bad. That one. There we go. Board sports. Good night, Yipa. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, the only sport I keep up with is competitive. Bloons Tower Defense! Is there such thing? That would blow my mind if there was. Okay. Orca's on the run. Okay, well this is one that we will save next time. We'll quit. Yes. Because I'm getting hungies and I need to, like, shower and stuff. Okay, let's see, chat. Who should we raid today? Ah, uh, there's such thing as high level balloons came. Like, oh, that's interesting, actually. Huh. That actually kind of makes me happy that there's esports outside of, like, you know, traditional esports. Like, Valorant is boring to watch. I don't know how anyone can watch competitive Valorant. It's boring. Oh, here you go, Bowen. Oh yes, it's the last day to gamble on... on... It's the last day to gamble on Friday, friends. Hi, Lee! Yeah, Lee. I mean, we're, I, I'm winding down stream slowly. Not raiding just yet, but... Wrapping up here. How are you, Lee? How was your day? Happy Monday. Cooked dinner for my friend, but I got forgot to invite them. I, it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, Yifa. Uh, let me catch up on chat. One more for the road, yes. Uh, oh, good try the gamble. It sure was a Monday. Yeah, it was a Monday. You know, I'm kind of... Meh. Meh. It's a Monday. Uh, who shall we raid? Who shall we raid? Shall we raid the regular Monday streamer? Our lovely friend HM02 Fly. The lovely HM. I love HM. I always feel like it's it I I don't want to overuse the word, but I feel safe in HM stream. You feel me? I feel safe in HM stream. Oh I just realized I never switched wait. Did I never switch the screen? The entire time? I didn't. I just realized that. Um, I need to be better at switching the screens. Uh, high level BTD gameplay takes more than just skill that you expect. I imagine. Oh, Lando's playing Stardew? Ooh, cute. I didn't think that he, they would be... Because he's in Japan right now. I didn't think that he would be live in Japan. Is he in Japan right now? I thought he... He's back? Oh, he's already back. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I get... Okay, I was like, Seven, did I give you your points? But I did. I did give Seven their points. Okay. You love Stardew? I do love Stardew. Stardew's one of my favorite games. Okay, friends. We're gonna go read HM. HM is playing... I don't even... I didn't even see what HM was playing. Oh, Street Fighter! We were just talking about esports. <laughs> Look at that. Um, yeah, I will be back on which call it. We'll be back on Wednesday to to play uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and then on Friday, Friday, uh, I I it says Minecraft on the schedule because I do want to play Minecraft, but um, maybe we'll play Dolphins. Like I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not fully solid on that yet. So. Um, if you are not part of the Discord, that's where I will update you all. And you can follow me on s socials and stuff. Or subscribe to me on YouTube. And here's the schedule, in case you want to know that. Okay, um, yeah, have fun in HM stream. Uh, have a good time. And, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. See you all Wednesday. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, let's meet again soon, friends. Have a good time. And, and yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'm gonna go eat potatoes. Mmm, potatoes. Thanks, Alcade.